two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? You're Jewish. Yeah, and you're Irish. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Happy Hanukkah! Happy Hanukkah, bad friends. Bobby is gone. And today we have the one and only, the unique, the lovely, the special, the talented, my sweet prince, Dave Bird! Is Bird Jewish? B-Y-R-D? B-U-R-D. You don't even know how to spell my last name. Wow. What do I care? Yeah, yeah. work together. Too. I love you too much. <laughs> <laughs> what do I give a Sorry. shit? I, I feel right. uh, my recollection. Maybe I'm just making this up. Is that it's actually rooted in Berdowski. Berdowski. But I could, Berdowski. that could be a total fit. But you know, the skis back home in Chicago, ski means um, usually skis are like uh, Polish. Oh wow! I've got some something in. Me. I got some sort of. I don't know. Because you could be you could Hungarian, be Hungarian, Polish, Polish, Jewish. Yeah. Because skis up like up skis. Any yeah. of the SKIs is yeah. all usually. Usually Polish. Mm. Uh, Dave, I want you to meet uh, a very good friend, a great comic. This guy has the friendliest face I've ever oh, seen yeah. in my life. This is Black hey, Magic. This is, this is Doc Willis, we a.k.a. Little Black here. Magic. Hey, man. Hey, nice to meet you, Love bro. your face. Man. Love, love Thank your, you, bro. Your whole he likes you. He was, he was saying before the show he's too shy now, but he was saying how much he likes you. But you can tell him now that you like him. You're a good dude. Just hey, uh, Instantaneous <laughs> love. Haim Ashed. What's that? Is what? Haim Ashed. You don't know who? Haim Ashed is the former general in the... 30 year space chief of Israel. He he the one who said that what was is a good this? Dude, he does this kind of <laughs> well, stuff all the time. No, he said I it was a good He does this shit all the time. <laughs> no, I'm telling you who to do What's it. What's going on? What, Haim Ashed? Well, he's from here. Yeah, he's from Israel, right? He's the one who said there was a galactic federation mm. uh, and that the United States oh, was yeah, in contact I, with aliens. Yeah, 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 yeah I know that story. Yeah. Shout wait, out to <laughs> Haim, you're a real yeah. one. You are Wait, real how do you spell one. his name? I want to look him up. How, how do you spell that? H A I M H A I M E S H E D. You know the prime min former, well, Benjamin Netanyahu. Shout out to Netanyahu. Well, I don't know about that, but he <laughs> went to my high school. Wait, seriously? He's like from Philly. Is he? Yeah, where he went to high school. Click on new. Yeah, so Netanyahu went, was- uh, Cheltenham High School. Cheltenham? Yeah. You don't, we don't want to shout him out, but okay, no. this is this is Haim Ashad. This yeah. is him. Now, now click on news. And what was his deal? He was the one who said that the United States was in contact with uh, with aliens and that there was a galactic federation and that Trump knew about it. Well, yeah. he's right. Is he, yeah. Are we saying he's wrong? It sounds like he's right. Well, he's the dude. Former Israeli space security chief says uh, extraterrestrials exist and Trump knows about it. Yeah, uh, I don't remember seeing. I believe all this. <laughs> I believe it. Do you? Be I believe every single well, second. Let's of this. get it. <laughs> aliens the are aliens. out there. We've seen the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as though it. There must be. Uh, there, uh, how, how could? But I honestly don't feel like if there was, they would tell Trump. That's the thing. Well, that's aliens? what he was saying. I guess they'd have to. I guess, but I, I think he, he couldn't know that and not tell everyone. Well, because no, he's, he, he's an egomaniac. Yeah, he'd he'd be like, be, I found him first. Yeah. <laughs> I found the aliens. <laughs> they were fucking each other. <laughs> you know what's so funny though? It, it, it. I think all the richest people in the world do n have contact with the aliens. Mm. Yeah. I believe that, like an Illuminati type of. Hundred yeah. percent. Of course, I believe that. I think once you reach the multi-billionaire status, you get granted access to that yeah. stuff. Because otherwise, why earn that? Why earn all that money? Look, you have a lot of money. Well, you're rich. Let's let's just say that you're rich. It's <laughs> okay. true. Okay. All right. all right. So you're rich, but you're not wealthy. I don't know the aliens. No. Yeah. No. You're not no. like them. No. But you know, right now, you're comfortable financially. What you have. Yeah. It's great money. Yeah. You make a great living. You I have could a take great a year life. off. You could take a few that's years all, off. Yeah. yeah that's okay. What I'm talking about. You can't. No, no. <laughs> you 100% can't. No. You can't even take a week off. This yeah, is yeah. a day off. This a day bad. off and I'm fucking fucked forever. <laughs> well, so, but look at it like again. this. What's the incentive to earn more money then now? Mm. You have plenty of money. What yeah. do you, re do you want, do you want more money? Money doesn't really drive me. I know. Um, so what would drive you? Knowledge Meeting the, the fucking yeah, aliens. Yeah, that would drive me. See, if, give, someone would, said, if you got a billion, you'll meet the aliens. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Right now, Someone comes to you and they say, if you want to find out everything there is to know about everything, I will take you on a mon one month tour of aliens, past, future, oh. the whole, sh any like question you have will be totally answered in a month. And then you have one day back on earth to, you know, log the information and uh -huh. then you die. Would you take that deal? Ooh. What do you say, Doc? That's a deep cut. That's really hard. You die. So one day you get to I'll give spread you a, around. I'll give you a week back on Earth. Then yes, a week. But no one's going to believe a word you say. I know, but it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> but for one week, you get to push around this narrative to everyone you know and write everything down. Yeah. 
and just be like, listen, you can believe me or not, I'm yeah. going to be dead on Saturday. Yeah. So if you <laughs> prophesize your death, then yeah, they might just, believe they'll you. They'll just think that you were a kook and you committed suicide because some cult. Yeah, they probably will. But how do I die? How do I die after the week? Uh, spontaneous combustion? Uh, Grand Canyon. <laughs> spontaneous off the Grand, combustion. Off the, what am I doing in Arizona? You're off the Grand Canyon. That's, that's the answer to the question. That's, that's how it is. Yeah. I just wake up and I'm sitting on the edge of the Grand Canyon? Yep, and you're hurled. And who pushes me? Uh, the Illuminati? No footage. No one knows it. Uh, I think you jump between you I'm and me. I'm forced to jump. Yeah. I um, love it. Yeah. When I, I was younger, I used to go to, I mean, I went one time and I was like 10 and I was so confident. Imagine the stress on my parents. I used to say to them, I'm telling you, I can I can jump and and brace this fall. In the Grand Canyon? In the Canyon. Grand Canyon. So the whole trip, I was threatening jumping. <laughs> and I really believed that I, I could survive it, which is- To fun. this day? No. Let's go. I don't want to do Fuck that now. That. I, wait, you really as a child thought you yeah. could jump and- Yeah. And I mean, why, Dave? Why did you think that I was- I think it's self -belief. I used to think that too. That's like too much. Yeah. I, think I used to think that too. Like if you jump from a long distance, maybe before your knees hit, you like collapse and roll over some yeah. shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't this know. This is like bad logic, guys. Like 6,000 <laughs> feet up. Yeah. That's a 6,000 feet. I'm feel you though, Dickie. I'm, yeah. I'm with the jump. I understand what you guys are saying when an elevator- Like an I have that thought in elevators all the time. Like, look, I was in Philly. I was in Philly. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the hotel, it was so old downtown. Yeah. And you can feel that when it stops, it kind of jiggles a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't like that. So <laughs> I thought if I thought that one night I was coming down the, and I thought, if this broke, all you have to do is wait till it's close to the bottom and then jump the last second ah, right before it hits. And the, the top the thing of it smashes crushes, your head and then, yeah. you, and then you're paralyzed, yeah. but at oh, least you're shoot. alive. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm, I'm broke. My neck is shattered. Yeah, your thoughts are. I've thought still about. Still do it. comedy. Oh, I'd crush. <laughs> Might do better. Oh, yeah. I'd crush. Yeah. Oh yeah, you'd be going. Fucking... Uh, my album would be called Going Down. You'd be the new Stephen Hawkins. Going up. Fucking... My Stephen Hawkins comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> when somebody leaves, you going to take a shit or a piss now? <laughs> Okay, That's so mean. Stephen Hawking doing comedy though. He would just he would absolutely murder. Yeah. He murder. <laughs> you can get away with anything with a computer. You can yeah. say because because he didn't mean it. He can say right. it and didn't mean it. Oops. <laughs> yeah. My B, my B, my B. <laughs> Look at this bitch's tits. <laughs> <laughs> if a computer says all that, how, yeah. how are you to blame? Yeah. All right, let's go over some stuff right now because Doc wants to learn. Okay. Happy Hanukkah. Hell we're late. Yeah. We know we're late. Yeah. But we're anti. Um, we're anti Christmas this year. Shoot. We did Christmas last year. Amen, brother. The Christmas. Uh, the Christians can take can it's take a hike. Much. It's way too much. And it's the week of Christmas, which is <laughs> when we're putting this out. Good. So you know what? Good. Hanukkah twice. That's what we're doing this I'm year. I'm happy to double is up on Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yeah, because Hanukkah twice. We want yeah. because here's the problem with Hanukkah. This has always been my issue. It's not enough nights. Not enough. Uh, dead serious. <laughs> really? That's literally what I was gonna say. Uh, really? <laughs> Why eight? Uh, well, as the story has it, if I recall, that's how long like the oil and the could have, they could have last. scratched it out. I think they scratched that. The whole premise of Hanukkah is that they scratched it out for eight. It's like a miraculous thing that they even made it eight nights. All right, so let's make it more nights. So they just party for eight days straight? I don't think it was a party. I think it was more survival. So oh. In this day and age, we they celebrate for eight days. Okay. But okay. back then, it was to stay alive. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we got eight little eight little knickknack gifts. Maybe right, so one, ma one. How many are in front of you? I mean, the, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Get it. they know right. what they're doing here. Why don't you open one of them? Why don't really? you open one? These are yeah. for me. Yeah, every time you open one, I have to light a candle, though. Of okay. course. Okay. So go ahead and open one. Those are for you. I'm excited. Yeah, I, just, I haven't gotten any gifts this season. Are you serious? Yeah, my parents just give me a check for Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah. real. Actually, they don't it's pretty real right. Jewish, now huh? They just, yeah, real. They just every year, uh, <laughs> just a check. No, not even. It's gotten lower. Now they just like uh, like re-update my NBA league pass every year. That's huge. What, what do you mean? That's huge. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Do you even you uh, NBA league even, pass? No, I can't even. Are they like five hundred? It's like, like five hundred bucks. No, it's like one hundred and fifty. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Why did I think it was expensive? Well, uh, what is it? What, what am I thinking? Box. Sunday ticket is more expensive. I ain't even got yeah. cable, Phil. Sunday ticket's like four hundred bucks. You don't have cable, Doc? No, I don't have cable. I'm like, <laughs> looks like it might be a mug. <laughs> Fucking all I got. What is Netflix. it? Go well. <gasps> oh, a brain mug. Beautiful. It's your own merch. Yeah. <laughs> We're giving you your own merch. So, buy it too? Hey, so I'm making money off giving. of this gift. You're making money off the gift. That's we great. bought it. That's yeah, the we best type of Jewish. <laughs> feel that. Feel that. Yeah. Feel that. Double up on it. I love mugs. <laughs> what, is it, what does it say, by the way? So this bitch don't know about Pangea. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a famous quote of What a good video. Thank you. You did the video, yeah? Yeah, and Tony. Tony directed. Yeah. Tony, who directed ep many episodes on our show. Yeah. Uh, Dave, which uh, Bobby mocks constantly and calls it Davey because he's jealous that 
the success. He, well, he's on Sex in the City, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what made you get into rapping? Uh, you know, I, I this guy entertainment tonight question. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what's on my own. Boom, straight to it. Hey man, tell me what made you get into well, rap. You know, well, you know, this is a black dude talking to a Jewish yeah. dude. You know, Jewish. Yeah. You know, what do you mean saying? Jewish dudes on rap? You ever heard the Beastie Boys? They Jewish? Yeah. Jesus oh, I didn't know Christ, that. Drake, Drake is Drake. Jewish. Drake is half Jewish. Drake is half Jewish. Mother's yes. Side. So well, is Jada mother, Kiss. Okay. Mm. Fuck okay. it. No, that's <laughs> yeah, Dra- be. Jim Jones. Yeah. He's Jewish. Yeah. Jim Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Hilarious. you don't know the Beastie Boys are Jewish? No. I thought they were just regular old like trailer park dudes getting it. You know trailer park dudes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, bro, bro. This Grass is why we monkey, love that's trailer yeah. park right there. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What what trailer park do you know in, exists in the city of New York? Where are the trailer parks? He's thinking Eight Mile Eminem. Oh, you're He's thinking, thinking Emin- white rappers. You know, trailer Eminem, they don't have trailer parks in New York. In in Bro- trailer parks in Brooklyn. Possibly? Have you seen? Have you been to Brooklyn? He thinks they're from like Middle America. No, not really. I've been there, from, I've been there to the like the little clubs out there, but I haven't been in Brooklyn, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to Jay Z. Yeah. Uh, no, don't shout out Jay Z. No, okay, you don't, don't know shout what you're out Jay Z. Oh, sorry. All right, yeah. well, you know what I'm trying the to. The Beastie kind of Boys are from New York City. <laughs> okay, they are. Where did you think they were from? I thought they were from like a little bit like Iowa, a little bit, yeah, something like yeah, that. maybe they put off an Iowa vibe. Yeah, they got the fucking <laughs> yeah. cornfield vibe. Yeah. You, you see what yep. I'm saying, Dick? Yep. See, he yep. feel me. No, he's doing this to help you out because oh. this is insane. I want a Beastie Boys. Hey, fam, fam, you know, no sleep till Brooklyn. Iowa. Oh, it wasn't Iowa City. Shit. <laughs> no yeah. sleep. Till Lincoln, that's because no the, <laughs> the drive from Iowa was so long. So far, yeah, and they didn't want to. They didn't want to pass out. Okay. All right, stay up. Why good. did I get into rap? I, you know, I always wanted to be a comedian my whole life. Like that was my my dream, even as a boy. Like I always, I made people laugh as a kid, and I was like, this is an irreplaceable feeling. How can I do this forever? Yeah. And I I kind of rapped, uh, you know, for fun, and and I wasn't I wasn't necessarily. Like, wow, you're a great rapper. But I was like, and I was seeing, you know, Lonely Island. I saw these guys and they were becoming incredibly successful off of comedic rap. And I was like, there's no one else doing it. So I thought, what if I use my funny ideas? Because I didn't know anybody. I didn't know how, no one could I give a script to. I I didn't like know how to make, you know, film. You know, it just felt like the most accessible way to do it was on my computer. I have GarageBand. I can literally make high quality music from my apartment, my room. So I started rapping with the intention of being noticed as a comedian and it kind of like just worked like a sport. The more I did it, the better I got. And it's like, I've always loved rap. You know, it was a total dream to be a rapper of mine too, but it was like, that. you know, my dreams growing up were like comedian, rapper, basketball player. And yeah, like, one of those was never going to happen. I feel like, <laughs> honestly, two of them oh. felt like they weren't going to happen. Yeah, but oh, one yeah. of them for sure wasn't going to happen. Yeah, well, but it, it felt like as I was rapping and getting better, it felt like as if I like, like started playing basketball and got good enough to play in the NBA. Like that's how I right. feel every day. As but a then rapper. you it's meet like, yeah. like six, eight black dudes and you're yeah, like, you never you mind. Like a, this is yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. If they, if every black dude in the NBA looked like him, you'd be in good shape. I'd be a <laughs> you would be dope. Yeah, you could post me up I, and get yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Hey, but I was going to say, uh, everybody out there in Tel Aviv, this is the guy you want to look up to. All right, yeah. keep it going. Everybody right. out there in Tel Aviv. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is the guy. Don't you forget it. And I, I performed in Tel Aviv. Hell and let me tell you, I, I felt a lot of admiration. Hell from yeah. The Storms. Yeah. Yeah. How many times did you perform over there? I went. I performed there once, but never have I felt, he's right, I have never felt like bigger as a star. As a I, rapper. Just as like, yeah, as like a presence, like as when I walked down the street than I did in Israel. Wow. Wow. And it was. Yeah, because you like the fuck. And man. the hummus. God, the hummus is off the chain. It's huh? incredible. You I'm like hummus? Hell yeah. Yeah, bro, with some fucking uh, townhouse crackers. Hey, townhouse crackers. That's <laughs> always the tradition. Yeah. Yeah. That is the truth. When you go to the Middle East, I do say they do have good hummus and townhouse crackers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how we do it in America. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny to be half cultured. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I love hummus. Man. But you got to give me them townhouse crackers. <laughs> <laughs> a half hilarious. culture is so funny to me. Hey, that's how we get it. Yeah, though. no, I love oh. kebab meat. I mess with kebab meat. You just got to put it in a pita. You know what I'm saying? Put, <laughs> put that in a wrap. Uh, well, da, hey, hey, fans. Yeah. What did you ask about the gold? This, listen how offensive this question is. You're going to oh, love it. Wow. Well, because he literally said, wow. what, he literally walked in here. He's, <laughs> by the way, he's Spanish, so we don't trust him at all. Yeah. <laughs> but he go, he literally walked in as he's setting up the room and he goes to Pete, the other producer. He says, why? Why do they like this gold so much? He, <laughs> this is what he wants to know, why there's the gold. And then Pete tried to explain to him what this is. And it's a game, yeah. right? Yeah. With the dreidel. Yeah. But Just... but honestly, 
doesn't help the image. No. The gold <laughs> thing doesn't really help I agree. the image. Kinda, I got to tell you. I haven't really thought <laughs> it's about it. It's a bad it. idea. Yeah, yeah, it, I mean, look, it's spread out on the table. Yeah. And Pete, Pete's kid, <laughs> Pete's kid is, Pete's kid isn't Jewish, goes to a Jewish elementary school? Preschool. Preschool? Yeah, preschool. And I was like, well, how, I didn't know, you know, how'd you get him in? And he's like, well, they don't know he's not Jewish until they change his diaper. Right. And they see his little uncircumcised snake. Yeah. You're served, though. <laughs> oh, I'm overly served. I'm clipped, too. <laughs> but see, but but we did it. It was like a normal thing for my generation to do it. Yeah. It I, wasn't like a Jewish or not or a European or not. Every kid I knew was clipped. Are you circumcised? Yeah. I'm yeah, you got to be, right? Gotta you got to have a head. I mean, I feel, I, I forget where, what, where it's at, but I recall there being new philosophies on circumcision today where it's like almost, there's like some sort of, I don't know which way the science is telling you to I go. Think, I think what it says, we did research this one time on the show. I think it says that it's, um, t in today's society, it's so easy to clean and have high, the, high, the hygiene levels are so high, you don't need to do it anymore because yeah. everyone washes so often. Yeah. It used to be you, ba you bathe once a, you know, month, whatever yeah. you would get infections, all that stuff. That's why yeah. it became standard. What do you? What, what's your word for the debris in the forest? Schmegma. Yeah, it's always Shred been schmegma. Yeah. Do isn't you know that? that? Isn't that a no. Jewish? I think it sounds. Schmegma Jewish. sound. Yeah, look yeah. up if sh schmegma is Jewish. That'd be cool if like a Jewish catchphrase. Jewish. Well, that's what I mean. Think about it. They were like, "Why are we clipping?" They're like, "The yeah. schmegma." It makes it sense. It's kind of ridiculous, though. Like when you got circumcised, yeah, you didn't have all of your friends and family come over and witness your dick get cut. I, yeah, I did. Oh, you did. Yeah, I did. Well, I did it when I was thirty. Wait, so non-Jews have? I'm kidding. We don't oh. do that. That's insane. We do it in the hospital. We oh, get it yeah, out of the way. Exactly. We do it behind closed doors. Don't let that fall. I that's won't. a sin against man. Yeah, it didn't fall. I gave you a, a pin to clip it into your hair. I didn't see it. It's on the. It's on it itself. I don't want to. I know you don't want to miss. Do you clipped? I, I am clipped. Daddy's schmegma schmegma from latin from latin borrowed from ancient greek and it's all smegma right. all right never mind alternative form of smegma soap detergent is schmuck a jewish i wipe word? i clean <laughs> what does that say is schmuck a jewish word yeah, of course you, do you screen capture these searches in yeah. real time next we come to schmuck which is english rather vulgar definition of a uh contemptible for foolish person in other words a jerk yiddish, in yiddish yeah, schmuck. is schmuck yeah literally means penis yeah. schmuck means penis i i have not known that yeah I didn't know that either. What's the other I word for penis in Yiddish? Like... There's another one. Yeah. What's the other Schlong? word? Schlong? I, I don't think. What no. did you text me before this? How bad of a Jew you are? I'm not a good Jew. <laughs> what, I think I'm a better Jew than you are, and I'm, I'm not even Jewish. I'm like so out of the loop in terms of what to do. And, and it's okay. Yeah. I feel as though I represent it like pretty reasonably culturally. Like I have like the spirit of like a good Northeast Jew. You know why? Heart, the hair. Just the way you look. Yeah. You couldn't. You look. Uh, and like sound and talk. Like and I think feel my behavior is very yeah, and feel yeah. yeah you don't you, have you do a lot of Jew shit yeah yeah, yeah. but it's like it's, I read Jew yeah you a mile away they go Jew <laughs> yeah. 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 which you don't do that way. at home and I'm don't proud yell. of that I'm proud of that I'm you happy, should yeah. be you should I just, be. I just, you know, all these, uh, you know, I went to Hebrew school as a kid I was, I was, you know, I was in the know I was every week two days a week going to mm -hmm. Hebrew school where uh, K.I. Knesset Israel in a uh, Cheltenham, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow, from, you from the home? Oh, you from, oh, you real, real. Yeah. No, 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 he's from Pennsylvania. Yeah, I don't know. What, Do you, you think he's from Israel? He said he was. Knesset Israel is the name it's of the, the synagogue. It's the name of the synagogue. Oh, yeah. fuck, okay. All yeah. right. We should have oh, kept okay. going with yeah. that. Yeah. He, he is from Israel. <laughs> yeah, okay. I you do know that. One. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. is. Oh, that's dope. Oh, I miss Israel. Do you I? Do? I just went one time, I mean, the women were the most beautiful. Smoke shows? And but the men, on the other hand, <laughs> I went to a club and I just remember like I've never in my life like did I like, you know, I have a very like if my life on in theory is very if any life was like entourage like it'd be like mine. And I never really feel that way. Like normally it's just like a very curmudgeon Jewish person's day. Yeah. But the, uh, there was this one moment where I was walking to my my table in Israel where like they walked me in into the thing. I swear it was like every, directed as if it was like on like it was like a one take shot where right. like the right woman passed and like smiled at me and then like everything and then they let doves out they, they when they, you sat down they, sat, they let what? doves out yeah yo you gotta go back to cool israel i know what are you doing here uh, well i the one my one complaint about israel is that it's a little too sun beaten huh. is that hot out there it's hot but it's just like drained of color like it's very, <laughs> that's my one complaint what, no trees or what what's going on i got a couple it's, of it's complaints i got a couple of complaints 
What? I'm ready for my complaints about Israel? Yeah. <laughs> Hold yeah. on. Do we what do you mean fucking... sunbeaten? Yeah, because like it's, the because buildings it's... look like they've just been like smacked by the sun yeah, for yeah, hundred, yeah, and yeah. they have been. But like, so it's I'm more of like a San Francisco pastel color type of. You, you like know. a you like the I jacket? Like my jacket. Right. Yeah. And, <laughs> and everything there's a little monochromatic for me in terms of just like mm-hmm. looking around and like enjoying the aesthetic. Feels like Arizona. Yeah. How things are kind of like uh, all taupe or yeah. whatever. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's also historic. I mean, it is historic. So I have a different level of respect for it. The oldest place in the world. Right? Well, isn't it the oldest epicenter of the world? It's there's something there's old. I, shit let's going just make on. it up. Yeah, it's the oldest, oldest place, <laughs> place in the world. <laughs> Went to the Western Wall with Gaeta. Wailing Wall. Well, yeah, it's the Wailing Wall. I think they're the same. And what do they call it? That people cry at it. Yeah, like you, yeah, people were there and they're just like they're bawling. Like, they're having like emotional experience. The Gaeta yeah, had was like it, emotionally. Huh? Gaeta was moved by Gata it. Gaeta still references like cry, that bro. moment in his life. I and like, like cry. Very funny to me. Did you cry at the wall? No. You don't feel anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, you broke a, the tradition. No, bro. I mean it was cool. Uh, it was cool. I like I wrote a little something and put it in the, you know. You write, oh, yeah, you write it and put it in the wall. And put it in the wall. Can and you I, tell I, me what you said? Couldn't even remember. It's probably like keep going, brother. <laughs> Who's uh, that for? For myself. <laughs> 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 I don't even know. What's the Vegas of Israel? Funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> I think it's Tel Aviv. What's the Tel-Aviv? Vegas of Israel? Yeah, like, so they, many other ways to that say. CNN? That's what I want Tel Aviv is like, like, is, you know what I mean? I, Tel Aviv had all the, the cocaine night and spots. Shit like, okay, and the, yeah. Uh, and I, there was a, a, a man that I- <laughs> um, Just want to connect. Maybe it's not that good of a story, but I basically, actually, I went to an international peacemaking camp. I don't know if you know this about me. So no. when I was like 14, I went to this camp called Seeds of Peace International Camp, which is a really interesting, amazing organization that takes people from different conflict groups like Israel and Palestinians and Indians and Pakistanis, and they put all these people under one roof, oh, more or less, wow. and they coexist for, during a summer, and they, they play sports together, but then every you know, day there's like a two-hour dialogue session, So, and there's like 15 Americans that are like top of their class that get into the, the only reason I got in is because my cousin used to run it. Mm. And so like everyone, every other American there was like an Ivy League student and I was only there because uh, my cousin, you know. You have to apply to get in? You have to apply, to, it's very hard to get wow. in. Wow. And so then every day I was sitting in, you know, these conflict sessions where Israelis and Palestinians are just like talking, like, you know, 50, like the smartest 14 year olds in each country and they're talking about the issues and like, it's hard. It's tricky because both sides, like they have different histories in terms of what they think, like who was there first and what happened. Yeah. yeah, and it was just very interesting to witness. But there was a, a guy there who I went to camp with named Daniel. Who uh, there weren't many kids like me at that camp who were like you know athletic, like just seemingly like kids that I would be friends with if I went to high school. And they were, were you were like, athletic? I was athletic. Yeah. I, I, and okay. I always won the award. Are you questioning his athleticism? Uh, no, I'm just saying. He just. <laughs> I was very athletic. I did, yeah, I didn't see the. You never seen this guy play basketball on no, our I've show? No, I've never. Hey, man, yeah. I ain't trying to diss Israel. No. Shout out. Better help. Andrew. Yes, Bob. I love you. I love you so much. And the so reason much. why I can say that is because I went to better help. You you use therapy. I couldn't discover. Yeah, I couldn't discover and find the love for you. Yeah. But it, now I'm like full of feelings and I like to share things. Yeah. And I like to be open. Honestly, me, Kalila, people in the house, we've all done better help. It's uh, you can start communicating with your uh, counselor um, in under forty eight hours. Forty eight uh, eight hours. Yeah. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. It's pretty great. Start communicating so quickly, and it's not a crisis line, not self-help. Yeah. It's professional counseling done securely online. We've spoken about mental health on this show and how we think it's important for you to try something uh, that's a little alternative to the traditional going in a room somewhere yeah. in an office. You BetterHelp is your house. C- committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. That's right. There's a broad range of expertise available, um, and the service is available for clients all over the world. Guys, visit their website and read their testimony, testimonials that are posted daily. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BadFriends. That's help, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Yep. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Bad Friends. Listeners get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash BadFriends. Hello, Hello, Fresh. Fresh. Hello, you guys. Fresh. Hello, Fresh. Hello Fresh. Listen, dude, um we get Hello Fresh at the home and when yeah. I see a box of Hello Fresh outside my door, I get really excited because what I know is it's gonna be fresh ingredients. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a meal that I can cook in mm-hmm. my home, right? It's not it's like the perfect amount of food. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, when I eat it, I don't go, Oh, I'm hungry. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, no. that's all, and you already you always know you're getting something very fresh. Hey, we've talked about it on this show. We love HelloFresh. With HelloFresh you get 
pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Uh, the holidays are going to be hectic. We all know HelloFresh is going to keep things simple with recipes that cut back on meal prep and cleanups. So you can spend less time in the kitchen and more time with friends and fam. Skip them trips to the grocery store, man. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every single week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, which is gourmet. It's fancy, providing plenty of variety. Recipes like balsamic and fig, beef tenderloin, which I've had, phenom, pecan-crusted salmon, Make holiday meals feel special without the high cost of dining out or delivery. Or go for cozy comfort food like chicken sausage and sweet potato soup for a cold winter night and bundle up with your favorite blankie. Don't forget dessert. They also got the sweet tooth seasonal stuff. Limited time goodies like uh, ginger spiced cake truffles, which is me. I'm spicy ginger boy. And cherry cheesecake swirl bars. Yum, yum. Uh, It's so good, so delicious. I've been using HelloFresh for years now. These guys have provided such good meals to my home. So I don't have to go anywhere. I can just get it delivered to my door and cook. We love HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends14 and use code BadFriends14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Wow, that's incredible. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends14 and use that code BadFriends14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends14. Use the code BadFriends14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. No, but you were, but you just assumed for some reason that he wasn't athletic. Why? No, is I just, that? I no, explain why you don't. Because he don't even. Explain why you think on fucking Hanukkah. Why do you think he's not athletic? Hey man, you make it. Hey, I just you didn't just, look like you. You know what I mean? Every year at my other accountant, overnight maybe. Camp, a what? Accountant, maybe. Well, when you said athletic, I huh? used to win best <laughs> athlete who doesn't look like an athlete every year. Oh, see, athlete. yeah. So it's see, a, they they know. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro, I feel it. Yeah. Okay, what is Doc? Does Doc look athletic? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see how yeah. that feels? Yeah, 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 that you didn't was, like that, did you? Yeah, that hurt. Assumptions yeah, are annoying. Yeah, they're fucking, yeah, man. So don't assume. Okay, yeah. that was my bad. But you look gentle. My bad. Thank you, bro. You look sweet. I'm glad I look sweet. Man. Yeah. I'm glad I look. He's a fucking mass murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Straight killer. You know what yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. He used to sell rock in the hood. That's cool. Does he yeah. look, does he look, if, if he was like, no, man, I used to sell, would you believe it? If he said it like that. Well, that's what he said. <laughs> You don't look like when you told us that you used to sell. I didn't believe an ounce of it. Oh yeah, okay. No, because people no who sell, intended. no, that you ain't. The I didn't believe a gram of it. Like, what you? <laughs> Usually, people who sell look tough as shit. That's not true though. That's what's the problem. That's how you know you don't sell. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, well, not anymore. Yeah. I get yeah, couldn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, the cops like, were like, yeah. "He's right there." Yeah. How could you hide? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, they think that all the women that they see on New Jack City. That's how the crackheads look. It's like, nah, they actually just regular working class people. And some of the women look really good on the Depends streets. on how deep in the rock they are. Yeah, depend on, yep. Yeah, if yeah. you're in the first couple of months, if you're in the, yeah. the, the, the first if you're stage, in the, yeah, if you're you in the, what, the, the honeymoon stage of a crack use, <laughs> yeah, you're going to smoke crack. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, never. Yeah. He already asked me this. this yeah, guy, no, he, but he was in like, Yes, he was like, "Hey, you do." I was you drilling did. Him. because yeah, I didn't believe it. Yeah. I, I think if you sell enough, at some point you're going to try. Yeah, it. I understand that you're going to try. What? It. Why? This because it's no around sense. and you and it's curiosity and boredom. Once, and, once. Like, what that's what, what am I selling these these working class people? Exactly. What am I selling these working class people? And what were you selling them? Crack poison. <laughs> <laughs> and never once. Uh, well, they <laughs> fucking <laughs> never. But why would you? It's this don't make make it, when you. Well, I guess because y'all ain't never sold. But when you're around people that fucking smoke crack, it, it you look at them like I'll never do this shit yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's like. I know, but the hu- but the but the human experience has a lot of uh, we like to we like to try things that are going to hurt us anyway. Mm. We, self- dist- we like self destruct. I know you're different. That's that white You're side different. Open another right gift. There, it's it's that. time. <laughs> I, don't, I think we're supposed to let these burn out all the way. Isn't that the whole deal? Let them. Uh, yeah. But I mean, it, no, no, no. But I'm saying, don't you let one burn out before the other one goes? This is this is that a double? This seems the like double. a double. So oh, you light one gift. candle at a time, or you light all of them at the same time? What you're supposed to do is you light, you light one every night. You light oh. you light one, and it burns okay. out. But we don't have time. <laughs> this is why. You, uh, oh my God. What is it? Marathon. Marathon Man DVD. Ooh, <laughs> Marathon Man on DVD. Man, I've never seen this movie. Are you yeah, serious? Never seen oh my God. I've never. Great movie. It's such a good movie. That's good. And is that the CD that goes along Barbara with the soundtrack? Barbara Streisand, my mother's favorite artist. <laughs> Barbara Streisand, this is my the essential. Mother. Yeah. Apparently, my mom says she is the most incredible voice of anyone ever. That's okay. not true at all, but wow. she is a great singer. Wow. Yeah. 
There's no way she could have the best voice of all time. Some, uh, she's known as a pretty distinct vocalist. It's phenomenal. Yeah. But like, what about like, I don't know, Aretha Franklin? Yeah. Well, it depends on what genre of music you listen to. But what is she? She's considered what? What's Dry saying? Jewish. She's considered Jewish music? <laughs> Yeah. Somebody goes, what kind of music do you play? She's like, Jewish? They're like, I got it. I don't know what she is. I think, I know that there was like a show tune past. Didn't she do like Yentl or Fiddler on the, I don't know. Mm, I'm going to say about? yes. Yeah. I'm gonna just going to say yes. Yeah. That's kind of like how comedians used to do the the, the cat skills. You know, the, like the, the what do they call it, market? I'm so ignorant. L uh, Yentl film? Yeah, there you go. There she is. Yeah. Look at her. Beautiful eyes. But my mother, I, I, what else? Is my, anything else beautiful? Do you like just her eyes? <laughs> don't be. Well, she's, don't be. <laughs> she's shaped like a what? Like a boy, it seems in this movie. I don't, like, <laughs> the hair the style. Give me a good picture of of, of Barbara Streisand. Ah, that's a good look. Did you find her attractive? So your mother was obsessed with her. But yeah, did you find her attractive my, when you were a kid? No, I, I never. No, because she always felt very motherly. And like, and then I'm seeing her in the movies, like Meet the Fockers or whatever. Right. My one of my goals in life is to get my mom meeting Barbara, like you know. How can that. we not make that happen? I feel like that's so easy to do. Well, you as famous as you right. are, as connected as you are, I'm Bro, not going to reach out to her and be like, "Hey, can I bother you and have you meet my mom?" Like, Why would you? <laughs> but, let me let me say this: knowing what you know, yeah, about sweet Jewish women yeah. like your mom. Why wouldn't she want to meet your mom? She would want to, but it's just you know, I, I need to, I need to be like at an event or like there needs to be some sort of like right. You, we need to we need to like create pigeonhole this thing. Yeah. yeah, we need to make it at where it's like Barbara. Yeah, you won't believe that my mom. My yeah, mother's yeah. yeah, we need get to get her on the those. show. Have my mom. Come I was just at the gonna say, why don't we put her on the show? If you connected, do the surprise type of thing. Yeah. Bro, that'd be Speaking even of dope. which, people can't stop asking me if we're gonna do the show again. It's almost annoying. Yeah, and I tell them no. Yeah, we're done. We we quit. We retired. <laughs> like I said, I've generated enough wealth to take off. It's well, um, and you're not you're not alien wealth, but you're getting there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we are gonna do the show again. Oh, yeah. We're gonna we're, do the show. People stop it. Please stop asking. Can't stop. Won't stop. Yeah, we're gonna do fifty seasons. Yeah. I don't know, man. I never found her attractive. I remember my mom liking I think her she's too. Beautiful in that. Really? Picture. Oh my god! I'm not for that me. Pic that picture so for me. I love her. I, I, I guess she was okay. Her, like, I hair and her hat and her. I'm so into that yeah. picture. Did you find her attractive, uh, Doc? She was just what? A couple drinks in, a couple pinos. couple drinks in. Okay, yeah. yeah he needs a little bit of intoxication. Look at her, like yeah. nice, nice little necklace, like just light and subtle. Like, yeah, sure. Yeah. But I mean, you know, her eyes are like piercing yeah. blue, beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah, I love her. In that picture, you know, she's, look, she's look. and she's Jewish. She's like what? She's Jewish, <laughs> right? Oh, you're yeah, oh, yeah, I, was about to yeah. say, yeah. I was over here thinking again. I was like, well, yeah. maybe she. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. She's also from Iowa, mm. oh. Iowa City, just like the Beastie Boys. She's got to be from New York. Now you yeah. fucking with me, Tino? That's yes, one hundred percent. Of course. <laughs> Get real. All right, give, give me bring bring some of the Jewish terms up so we can teach Doc because Doc Doc needs I'm to learning. learn. All right, do you know what a bubby is? Do you know what that is? No, what the fuck? Well, you can it? read it. But... Bubby. Oh, grandma. You never heard that before? Nana. No, not Nana. Abuela. That's... Yeah, that's right. what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Now he just does all of them. Hell yeah. yeah. You give him one, he doesn't stop. Do you call your grandma Bubby? <laughs> no. Uh, both my, my grandmothers were dead before I met, before I was born. Oof. Yeah. Phew. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, just death. Cancer? Uh, Old age? My cancer and I guess. Old age. I, I don't know why the why my because that's quick to die. I mean, uh, your parents weren't old when they had you. No, they they both died like early, like sixties, seventies. Yeah, you're not gonna last. They died right before. I know. I'm thirty eight and out, brother. This is it. Yeah, <laughs> um, so thirty eight and yeah. out. <laughs> like it's a route. I Cowboy had, hitch had, right. Thirty eight out. I had oh, a step grandmother who, who who really acted and treated me, and she was a wonderful woman. Yeah. Um, but I called her by her first name. What was her name? Jean. Jean's a great name. Your grandma. Yeah, it's my mom's name too. Uh, yeah. Wow. So, call, I, if I call my grandma by her first name, she's so mad at me. I call Girl, my parents by their first names. I would have been knocked. You out. do? Yeah. Like I can't. Yeah. You call them mom. Yeah. Ma. Uh, uh, what do I call them? It's so weird. Yeah. Mom, and then Daddy O, Pop, yeah. uh, or that's cool. Daddy O and Pop are so much. Or whatever about. I'm mad about. He yeah. called me yesterday. My great aunt doesn't like us calling her by her first name. We have to call her auntie. Yeah, or my say auntie's aunt. great. Auntie you have sounds to say her great. Aunt first, and then her name. I'll tell you what's not Jewish is auntie. Yeah, you can't do that in the no, Jewish no, community. No, yeah. ain't no auntie in the big, Jewish community. No. Well, what, what happens? You just get. It's just not. That's just a, like it's a. First of all, auntie, one hundred percent is a black term. You do. Oh, it is. Even just aunt. Whites don't do it. Yeah. Whites don't do auntie. No, wait a minute. If you watch like uh, Desi porn, 
Some of it has like auntie in there. You Wait, know so that? watch what? Desi porn. Desi porn. Like when you Google Desi porn, like from Pornhub, Desi. Desi? In, it's India porn. So they have like Pull auntie. Up. He <laughs> teaches me stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, Pull all up. Right, well. Desi auntie porn is a real, that's a thing that's that you like go a, to? Like a, I don't know. I just look up Desi and then you don't just see Don't be auntie. weird. Just tell no, me. No, no, I'm telling you straight up. I'm telling you straight up. Aunt Desi is like Indian porn. Period. But Desi means what? What does Desi mean? I have no clue. All I know is- Look up Desi. Please. If you just type in Indian porn, what you'll your... see titles like Desi Auntie, Desi, Desi this, Desi that. So then I'm Look, like, oh, okay. Desi is a word used to describe people, culture, and products of an Indian subcontinent and their diaspora. Derived from, What's... zoom in, derived from Sanskrit meaning land country. Desi traces origin specifically the people, the country of India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. So Desi is kind of, it's, re, it's a regional definition of- that area of porn. There it is. Right. Well, now so now you, you know. Now you should learn stuff before we you jerk off. What are you guys' <laughs> process as far as okay. like locating the porn that you jerk off to? Because I feel like the process I use, I don't understand why everyone doesn't. It seems very just. I like the algorithm decide for me. Exactly. Yeah. You go there. I click on as much things as I like, and, you, and then and then it says related videos, and and then you're always in, yeah, for the rest okay. of time. Wait, I let the algorithm decide. So you let you. Here's like what I, I, here's what we do. You let your cookies match you. Yeah, I let my cookies match for me. Fuck. Why am I doing yes. the work? And it and it does it incredibly. Like, who, the machine is going to do it better than yeah, your brain could ever yeah. assemble it. Probably, but I just well, like the spontaneity of typing in my own shit and seeing what I get. Oh, I never. I, what yeah. phrases interest you? Well, Desi porn, I mean, Desi auntie There it is. Yeah. That's one of them. Desi, let's get it. Yeah. And I just go into a, a deep rabbit hole. Bro. Have you ever dated an Indian girl? No, I've never dated any girl. Only Latina, black, and white. Well, the, but you, but obviously you, you sexualize yeah, them, so you don't want you don't want anything. Well, to do. it's just I just watch them all. I don't discriminate when it comes to porn. I know, but you said you like this category. What I'm saying is, are you not? Are you attracted to Indian women in real life? No, I'm telling you, like I literally go through every race. Uh, oh, so go, this month is yeah, Desi month. I'll be like, oh, it's Desi uh, yeah, month. I'll be like, you, okay, you today can, Arab can, girls. Let's see what we got. You okay, know what I'm saying? There was an I'll Indian girl there. That, that was beautiful. You'd be attracted to her. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm at. He in likes them all. Yeah. Yeah. In, in when it's Black History Month, do you only jerk off to black porn? Do you feel it's like offensive to jerk off to other? Yeah, porn? yeah. I wouldn't even Google. I would go to Desi in honor mm. of respect to the Black History. You know what I'm saying? So I would jack off maybe to Desi. So that I won't offend right. myself. Oh. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. On Black History, Black History Month, you Month. don't jerk off to black porn. Well, we ain't going to say that. I'm just saying <laughs> if, if I did, if I had that kind of conscience. If I had a conscience like that, you know what, what I'm saying? What do you search like, then, Doc? What's your search? Because we're letting the algorithm is, choose. My search man, let me, I, I, mean, I just told you, like I go through the different races, right? Yeah. And then sometimes I'm like, you know what, what these grannies look like, right? What these then, grannies I, look I, like. Yeah, because you know, there's some hot ones out there. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So then I might hit a little paw porn, you know what I'm saying? Paw. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what that is? No. Fat ass white girls? Yeah, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, always ebony, you know, you can always go that route, but that's just obvious, right? Pog is such a great term. It's yeah. unbelievable. What a term. But my shit is simple, though. I don't like the, like the s and I don't like the cuck shit. Like the, the cuck old shit is weird. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. Yeah, hey, when fucking you know husband cooking. in the room, I'm like, what is this, man? I don't even like gangbang porn. No. No, I like just nah, one now, on you, one. Now, now you lost me. <laughs> no. I'm taking the bro, other car. Bro, I got to go. It's too much. It's what too do you much. mean? It's I love like, it. It's a fantasy dicks, I'll never be a part of. It's and a then, thing I'll never be a part of. It's you great. You ever notice how like the cameraman always got to be running to see the different action of different people? Yeah, he's people busy. Like, yeah. Full-time job. Man, he's distracted. You like it on sticks? You like it on a tripod? No, dude. I like a handheld. Let's move around. Let's see it all. I don't like very coordinated. Um, by the way, what a Hanukkah episode! Yeah. <laughs> is, Let's open up another gift. <laughs> you knew it was going to go there. I know, of course. How could I not? Third candle. I know that the, the first two haven't burned all the way. This is the big, the big one. What is? By the way, what night is the night where you really get like probably the best gift? I feel like seven or eight. Ooh, so coming to the end. Yeah. So at the beginning you get like little, little tiny knickknacks, little things, and then by the end you're getting like an Xbox 360. Shit! Do you remember any of the of any of the gifts when you were a kid at all? I really, I I got like the gaming consoles like at the end. At of, the end, yeah. But at the beginning, what is it? Because I'm trying to, I'm it's trying like, to learn. It's like it's like little. It's like uh, shit like this. Right. It's like tiny little. Uh, yeah, like you. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> knickknacks, stuff. figurines, like GI Joes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Clear all that stuff off your desk. Yeah, all the packages. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. What is this? What did he get? You got some great gifts. I Jerry's think. apartment in Seinfeld? Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, who makes this? What company? Funko. Funko oh, Mini that's Moments. Dope I love this. This would be a great middle Hanukkah gift. Like so this, this is four or five. We're right a little time. early. Yeah. Oh no, you're getting it at no, the right this time. Is, this is the right, yeah. Perfect. Oh, that's dope as zero. I got a Bruce Lee action figure for This is now. awesome. 
Dude, do you see this guy? Uh, I, got, I got a Bruce Lee action figure from Funko. Oh, from Funko? Yeah, yeah. He just wants to be a part of it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he really needs to it's be. Funko, though. I have gifts too. Like he needs to be in it. That's tight. Weird. That's a great gift. I guess it's stacked. It's, it's, I'm only seeing. And you know Jerry is. Like look at what. Look of at course, what, Jewish. Am yeah. I missing something? I'm only seeing like the window. Yeah, no. Look it's at the back. Yeah, it's like the little cubby. Is it just? Oh, oh, yeah. This is just one piece. You could collect the uh, whole apartment. So it's a whole oh, hey man, we have a low oh, budget cool. on this show. We, <laughs> <laughs> until we do another season of Dave, I'm yeah. not going to be able to afford the whole yeah. apartment. Okay, I'll take the window and the, the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> this is this, yeah. this is this is. But you know, by the way, that is an integral piece of the show. This little this little uh, computer Pocket. desk right there with his little where his uh, um where his uh, coat rack was. Big moments came from him turning and back to camera from yeah. there. By the oh, way, yeah. huge yes. huge moment from there was when Kramer came in, slaps the money on the table when he said, I'm out, when they had the who couldn't jerk off. There's some really good, I mean, <laughs> it is so funny to see, this show shaped so much of my comedic childhood years. Jeff Schaefer. Dude, one of the Jeff Schaefer, I know. Ever. Jeff Schaefer, one of the one of the executive producers and- um, Co-creator. Co-creator uh, on our show is- uh, One of the early writers. One of the early writers, yeah. yeah. Oh, he didn't wow. direct an episode, did he? Of Seinfeld? I, I don't think so, but he like came up with the the Festivus poll. Festivus like, was him. Yeah, yeah Festivus and, for the uh, rest of us. He uh that's where he met Larry and now he does curb with Larry too. It's nuts. My my favorite episode to this day will always be uh Kenny Rogers Roasters, where they switch apartments, where Kramer becomes oh. Seinfeld, Seinfeld becomes oh, Kramer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's to me I so it was such a good acting job by Jerry for the first time, because most of the time he didn't do a lot of acting on the show. No, he, he played was, Jerry. He was breaking. But the then smile he out. literally became Kramer. It yeah. was in, it was so good. I was like, man, I wish oh, he did that. Buffy. Buffy. Oh my god, the best present you ever got me was the Buffy comforter, dude. It's the best. I love it. It, it is the best. It's cool. So right? nice. I love the fabric it comes it's in. So much softer than cotton. It's so much more co softer than co uh, cotton. And it's earth friendly, dude. It's eucalyptus. It uses ten times less water to grow cotton. Yeah. To grow than cotton. No more night sweats, Andrew. Get okay. cozy without overheating. That's right. We've talked about it on the show enough. Listen up. If you don't, if you don't, don't try Buffy. Yeah. We're gonna come get you. We're gonna get you. We're gonna come. It's get It's hundred percent plant based design is breathable and keeps you at a comfortable temperature in a way that polyester and down filled comforters cannot it's cruelty free it's hypoallergenic it's high thread count shuts out dust mold mites for a healthier sleeping environment it's earth friendly like we said it's softer than cotton why not choose 100% plant based bedding that's better for you and the earth okay we love the earth we live on it we live you can try a comforter in your own bed for free if you don't love it Return it at no cost. Which is impossible because you're going to love it. For $20 off your Buffy comforter, visit Buffy.co and enter Bad Friends. That's $20 off your Buffy comforter when you visit Buffy.co and enter Bad Friends. Policy, Policy Genius. Genius. Oh, my God. I love Policy Genius. This you holiday know. season, dude, it sure yeah. knows you, It sure knows how to lighten your wallet, right? For many families, December is one of the most expensive months out of the year. Not if to mention it's the busiest. If you're looking for a fast and easy way to put some money back in your pocket, why not reshop your home and auto insurance rates with Policy Genius. Policy Genius combines a cutting edge insurance marketplace with the help from licensed experts to save on home and auto customers an average of $1,000 a year. Better yet, it's simple to use. It's easy. First, you head to policygenius.com and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius does the rest. They'll compare rates from over 30 top insurers from Progressive to Nationwide to find the lowest quotes. Yep. Their licensed experts will look at all the ways to maintain your savings, including bundling your home and auto policies. I yeah. can't read. Uh, their licensed experts are going to look into all the ways to maximize your savings. They're going to bundle your home and auto policies. And Policy Genius, if they find a better rate from what you're currently paying, they'll get you switched for free. And that kind of service has earned Policy Genius a five star rating across over 1,600 reviews on Trustpilot and Google. Hey, man. So if you're feeling the pinch during the holiday season, find out how much you can save on home and auto insurance at policygenius.com. They save their home and auto insurance customers an average of $1,000 a year by reshopping. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. The core cast. Julia Dreyfus, how do you hit that many home runs in your career? She's the best. Well, how do you go from that and also and then make Veep? Yeah. Veep, yeah. It's almost impossible to make two massively banger shows. Yeah. I mean, Seinfeld's arguably way bigger, but you know yeah. what I mean, still. But did Veep, you ever watch Veep? But she's dead. No, I never watched it. I know she's so like the daughter of a billionaire. You know that, right? I, I think I did know that. Just like you. Like, mm -hmm. like the daughter really of a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny. It's beyond. I made her break one time. It was like the moment in my career that really 
Making her and Larry laugh are the two biggest moments of my career. Oh, the curve. You're Making her, him yes. break in the room. If that happens again, <laughs> pin, I'm getting verschnooked over I here. I don't know how the pin would work. You just push it into your hair and clip. Uh, I just made up a Jewish word, a Yiddish word. I'm getting verschnooked over yeah. here. <laughs> you know how easy it would be to make, it's so easy to make up Jewish words. This pin doesn't. Uh, you want me to do it for you? Yeah. Like a real Jew. I know what I'm doing. Oh, hilarious. Like this. Oh. Oh, it's a snap. Yeah, it's a snap. <laughs> cool. Well, you don't have sisters? So you don't wear a I never wear a yarmulke? No, you know, at my, at my synagogue, it was like, you want to wear it? And I'm just like, no. Why not? Why not? I think this is great. Fa I, fancy love that covers up his bald spot. I don't, I don't like wearing hats. Like, I'm not I a big hat. You know, oh, you're not a hat dude. No. You, lo you love it, fans, huh? I love it. It's be it works better than keeps. <laughs> He doesn't need to take pills to keep his hair anymore. He's just going to wear yarmulke. Just become Jewish. Yeah. I got no problem to do. with it. It's just if I had the option, it's like, do you want to wear a watch today or no watch? I would not wear a watch. You know, it's the same. Okay. With the, yeah, but a watch doesn't have any religious feeling. connotation. No. <laughs> this is pretty. <laughs> but they, want, they, they aren't like put it on. If they were like, put your yarmulke on, I would do it. They'd be like, do you want to wear one? It was very uh, uh, casual. It was very Jewish. Yeah. It's very Jewish to be like, yes, no, fine. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. That's such a Jew. That's it's such a sweet Jewish way. But with Catholics, it's like, you, hey. You're gonna get baptized, and you're gonna drink the blood of Christ yeah. and eat His body. Yeah, you're gonna like. And it you have too. to line up, and you have to feel weird and, and bad about it. Yeah. And then the kids were always in line. We're always making jokes the whole time. We're always shitting on it. Yeah. And you know the dad is like, "Hey, cut it the fuck up." Yeah. That happens. That yeah. doesn't happen in the synagogue. No, no chance. A, no, just warm, warm smile. Because there's nothing that serious there, huh? We have to get up and do sing, hit, fucking sing. And if you don't there's sing, singing. Yeah, but if you don't sing, your dad. Yeah. My dad would be like, "Good hey." Fucking, you'd yeah. be mad if we were fucking off. Were you going to church every week? No, not every. We never went every week. Yeah, it, it was impossible as a kid because lives happen, and uh, you know man, what I mean. What a time suck! It stinks. Yeah, and it's it's football. Oh it's my football. god! It always bothered me as a yeah. kid. Like if if the Bears, if <laughs> the, if the Bears were playing in the morning games, we're fucking up. Yeah. We're fucking up. We're missing all of it. I have to go to church unless unless they wanted to go to early service, and then if we got really early, then we can knock it out and make it. Did you go to church? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you care to expand on it at all? Oh, there was some chocolate in these motherfuckers. This yeah, that's good. what. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, damn. You know, all <laughs> Jewish money is, has chocolate in it. <laughs> Probably. I, I, I kick it with y'all with y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'd kick it with y'all if y'all chocolate. <laughs> If y'all money was chocolate, you know I like Jews more. <laughs> yeah. Doc, what? It's your lucky what, day. Yeah, what did you do? What did, did you go to? Are you Catholic? Baptist. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know. Come I should have known. Yeah. Why would you even? I should have known. Come on. Black you know, guy singing. Chicago guy. I know. I'm I know. Disappointed a little bit. I went, I went to a couple of Baptist churches. You ever been? Mm, uh, no. Fuck me. They sing. Super Dude, this, long. The singing is. Yeah. But the singing is it's wild. Great. Right? People yeah. are excited. Yeah. 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 They're excited. No one's falling asleep there. Yeah. No. Every time I went to church as a kid, Except we fell the asleep. Kids. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when even the, the kids, yeah, even the kids can be entertained. Oh. It's two or three hours. It's fun. like it's like this guy is doing like Armageddon type of preaching. You like, bro? The, the goddamn game is on. What you like, stop. <laughs> Armageddon. Man, man, it's, man, come on, bro. It's too yeah. long. They, they sometimes they. they get Did you ever get in trouble when you went to synagogue? Uh, yeah. Uh, what happened? Did you guys like, did you run off and do some dumb shit? Yeah, one time. The Basically, I'd been going to Hebrew school for like five years. And then you get bar mitzvah and then it kind of ends. So there was like a last day of Hebrew school. Mm -hmm. And it's like the last day of school every year, but like the last day of like high school. It's like, you know, there's so many years of gone. So the last day of school, of Hebrew school, I got kicked out of class for like talking too much to my friends. You know? Oh, that, but nothing bad. No, well, then. Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> I was just so annoyed that, yeah. like, this is the last day I put in so much time and energy into this Hebrew school, which is not something I'm particularly passionate about, but I did it with a good, <laughs> open mind, and I feel like I got the right values, and I feel like I was a good boy. And they kicked me out just for being too loquacious on the last day. <laughs> and I, uh, in, in a fit of rage, I, um, say I, I, I kicked, a, like, a window in. What, you like, like glass broke it? No, the just screen. the screen. Yeah. I kicked the screen. That's like diet anger. I kicked the screen. Yeah, that's true. And then I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Taught them. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I, and I, I, I have been back, but when I go back, I feel bad about the screen. How funny. You should bring a screen. You should bring a screen as a gift. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm sorry. For, I shouldn't have done that, but uh, that's not that bad. You're yeah. a good dude, man. Yeah. That's not that bad. They were, you good know, dude. they were testing me. You, 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 you're you, Catholic, right? Huh? You're Catholic. Yeah. Okay. 
But it's we're talking about this right now. <laughs> okay, no bad. I just I'm, uh, to... Today I'm Jewish. Okay. I feel like sometimes I, I get asked if I'm Jewish because there's a lot of Hasidic Jews with red hair. Hmm. There's a look up redhead Hasidic Jews. There's a, there is a high population of redheaded Jews in Israel apparently, but I had no idea. Yeah. Look at these guys. National Redheaded Day. The history of ginger Jews. Click on that. The history of <laughs> look at these guys. Look at these. Look at these guys. Gorgeous. Bro, the, look at the what are the what are those called? What are uh, those? Payas. Payas. Mm -hmm. Payas. See, that, mm -hmm. that dude's payas is fucking lit. So that's the ones that uh that's me. that don't like that's electricity. Or me. Or is like that, that not me? I feel like that's me. <laughs> Could be. That's me that's for you sure. Later. That's you later. Wait, two down is you. Look, no one one below that. That guy. No, no to the right. That is you. Yeah, there I am. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> God damn, that's your doppel right that the, there. This fam. must be a guy, fam a famous guy. Because look at look at the first picture is him again too. Click on the first picture. Also yeah. me. Who is this? Israel who activist fuck? Yehuda uh, Glickshot. Yehuda Glickshot. Oh uh, no, shot and wounded. I got clipped. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Click on that. Let's see what happened in the in the Wall Street Journal. I was wounded in Israel. It, it, Israeli activist Yehuda Glick, bro. Yehuda Glick, shot and wounded. Yehuda yeah. Glick out here in these streets, yeah. shot and wounded. Dude, he got clapped. Oh, this was yeah, a long yeah. time ago. Street cribs. You got to grow a beard like that. Uh, that's legitimately me. That yeah. looks exactly like. <laughs> me. Hell yeah, bro. I have that same nose. The shape of my nose is long, deep like that. Yeah, it's got the same kind of little hair flip. Same hair flip, oh, yeah, dude. That's yeah, me, one hundred percent. They asked me if I was Jewish uh, when I was walking through the old neighborhood when I, my buddy used to live off of like Pico, Pico. Uh, Boulevard? Yeah, Pico and like Olympic. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, right down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pico Beverly. Yeah. I mean, you you don't, you didn't look Jewish to me before today, but now when I see with the yarmulke on, like, I believe that you could be Jewish. Now I'm selling it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should, next season on the show, we should, I should, I should. You wore one in the I did, I did yeah. on the Bar Mitzvah episode, yeah. but next season I should get take the instinct further. to just yeah. take it further. <laughs> I'd be like, look, it's something I want to do. <laughs> and I get, we get into a fight because I'm mad you're not Jewish enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's, I'm like, yeah, I'm like. Funny. <laughs> I start speaking Yiddish to you. Yeah, that's funny. I'm like, don't. Uh, I'm making up Yiddish words as I go. Don't come out me, okay? You're, you're really getting under my shkish. All right, let's light another candle and open a gift, baby. This goddamn Spanish this is killing me. Literary. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Oh. By the way, the candles is a great. Uh oh, oh. what is it? Who is Steven Spielberg? Who is oh, Steven Spielberg? I'm interested. In oh, that's, that's a great book. I that's a great it. book. I don't know. I don't know much about Jurassic it. Park. Woody Allen. <laughs> and Woody Allen. Okay. A king of the Jewish film community. Yep. Yeah. Isn't he your favorite, uh, Fancy? My favorite. He loves Woody Allen. And yeah. he hates Jews. So that's a good balance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. Woody Allen. He's, uh, he's been slipping up. He made a couple of mistakes. Yeah. Okay, then put the Spielberg on top. He doesn't slip yeah. up at all. Put him on top. Yes, there you go. There it is. This guy makes bang. All he does is make bangers. Yeah. That's Spielberg true. to the Jews is. Spielberg to the Jew, Jew to the Jewish film community, yeah, is you know Scorsese to yeah to the to the Wops, yeah. Well, I can say that because I'm a Wop. Okay. I'm half Wop. What do you yeah. mean? Okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm half Wop. Okay. He is though. The way that Italians treat Scorsese is the way that I feel like Spiel everybody I treats Spielberg. But he <laughs> is a king of the Jewish. But community. he hasn't really made a Jewish film, has he? Who wants to see those? Yeah, Schindler's, Schindler's List. Schindler's List. What are you talking about? That was Spielberg. Oh my god, that was that yeah. was Spielberg. Yeah. Spielberg directed Schindler's List. Yeah. yeah. Are you joking? <laughs> are, you, are you serious? I am serious. Even yeah, I man. Knew that. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's uh, movie, we got that movie is, iconic. That movie is so good. Hey, man, turn look it up in. Spiel, look up Spielberg turn it in, Jewish turn films. Turn your Jew card uh, in. And that's it. Turn your take, Jew yeah, card in. We got to bring you. Have, don't do that. that don't a, do that. Oh my bad. Don't do that. that this is very reminiscent of a bad history. My bad. Munich. What about Munich? Okay, so he's actually made a ton of Jewish films. Um. An American Tale that definitely was not Steven Spielberg. Why is <laughs> it American Tale? Schindler's List was Tale? awesome. Schindler's List was incredible. It was like one of the greatest films. Yeah. Did it, did it win Oscars? Oh yeah. How many? I'm saying. All of them. Best, it didn't win all picture. of them. I loved it. Best picture. Best picture. I know. Best director. Best director. What else? Cinematography. Never mind. He did it. Sorry, Stephen. Yeah. Really. Really. Yeah. He asked you to turn in a Jew card, like you guys get cards. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Doc. No, you know, you know what I'm saying. I, I am. Look like at that. Culture. Oh my God. Schindler's List clipped all those? That's 12 Academy Awards? No, he, he won seven, I think. Won seven, got nominated 12 times. Yeah. yeah he the man. How the fuck are we not nominated for anything? Mm. How the fuck are we not? I'm sick of this nonsense. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? I don't know how it if works. If the next season we don't get nominated for anything. Well, you know, I, I feel like these seasons deserve nominations. So it's like, uh, if they're Yeah, not... but you can't go back. No, but. 
So I've just kind of like, like you can't put stock in it because, you know. Well, I've said this pretty publicly. I don't really like that stuff anyway. And I know that's not good to say, but I don't care about it. But for your sake, I want it for you. Yeah. Do you know be, what I mean? I nice. don't really, doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. But I want it for you just because I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah. Didn't give us a nod, huh? Didn't even give us a what nod. What other comedy show is hot like that? Well, look, we're in a weird gap time because our show kind of came out after award season. We didn't, right. we, you have season to- Season two hasn't been up for Emmys yet. No, it can't be because it's off. Yeah. We, it, look, It'll be up next year. We're basically like, uh, yeah, it will be. It could be up next year, yeah. Yeah. But it's so long gone at that point. I don't know if that's, if that's how, I don't know, I don't really know how it works. Well, Fancy knows, isn't that right, Fans? Yep. Yeah, we're too kind of like, we're too out of the realm of like, you've got to be pretty close to, that's why a lot of those shows but like why? to- Huh? But why? I thought it was like a year. Because timing is everything in Hollywood. So once you're not being spoken about, is the reason that a lot of films get nominated, especially in the Emmy category, not Oscars, that Academy Awards is different. But Emmys is mostly because it's timing, it's buzz, it's hype. It's why Succession is like on fire and everybody talks about it. It's like, it's a perfect timing. It's like an amalgamation of like timing and culture. And our show existed in an in the off season almost. I don't really think there's any excuse you could make for it to not. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't I'm on your team. Yeah. I'm saying the. I'm giving the logistics of why. Yeah. Okay, but I still, such do you, is life. Do you watch Succession? By the way, I love it. It's funny you say that. I love it because I used to be in love with it, and now I'm I'm waning. I'm yeah. just getting a little. Are you caught up? Oh, I haven't seen the final episode this year. I thought the, the last one you've seen. Yeah, last episode. The last one you've seen. The second to it last is one the of, best episode of the series. Of the series yeah. Period. I couldn't agree yeah. more. We literally both said that. Yeah. Because the episodes ensuing uh, prior to that were not as so good. Like there was a lot of foot dragging and Nicholas Braun, huge fan. Yeah. Cousin Greg, fucking I, phenomenal. I, 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 Succession is great. It's it's, it's a great show. You yeah. don't watch any of that. No, I don't even know what that is. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Guess what Succession is. Just guess based on what we said. Succession is. Uh... <laughs> It's definitely a white show. Uh, no, 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 no. There's uh, a... Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, like, there. no, no, there's no non-whites on that show. There's literally no non-whites. There's some. Where? The uh, the dad's like wife. Who's like gone. She was like in the beginning and then she's gone. She was killed in the beginning. Like she wasn't movie? killed, but they, oh, they get it. They, it. they split up. It is okay. it is an incredibly white show. <laughs> well, but look at, the, look at what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay, when that happens, do we need to do something? Like pray. when the candle completely pray burns out. Pray to your God, brother. Do you don't you guys don't say anything when the candle's done? Do you wait for it to burn out or you just go to bed? Go to bed. Uh that seems like reckless. No, you probably like my parents probably did a little check, like, you know. No, but I mean you there was no there was no like no. thing to you, say. You or go do. there, you light the candle, you say the prayer when you light the candle, you get the gifts, and then you go. How long up. is the prayer? Thirty seconds. Can we say any of it? Do you know any of it? Look it up. Let's say if that I saw the words, I might have my memory jogged. So funny, jogged. you're such a bad Jew. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can your next album be called Bad Jew? <laughs> Hold on, don't say it without us lighting it. All right, here, here we go. All right, I'm going to light this. Right. You're going to open up a present. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Baruch Adonai Aneho Melech HaOlam. Who's Asher's kid? That's what it is. That's nice. Hello, blessed Carl. blessed are you, our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy through your commandments and commands us to light the Hanukkah lights. Okay, that's simple. Oh, look at that. It's an Adam Sandler uh, uh, towel or blanket. How fun is that? It's a Sandler blanket. Oh, yeah. Give I'm it to me. Let me about. show. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's fire right there. This is great. What a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a mensch is yeah. what we say. Yeah. Look at all the titles. What Jack a storied and career. Huh? I said, what a storied career. Sandler is the fucking goat. Yeah. Sandler's the goat. shit. Yeah, to, goat, like, uh, I, I think he's such a fuck. He is. He is the fucking man. I love him. He's so. He is so dope. He's done the thing where it's like, someone's like, "Oh, his newer movies aren't that." Did you want him to make teenage humor up into his sixty? That's yeah. insane. Yeah, and he I think he has, his, to his credit, his done a good job of like sprinkling in like the a few great movies, like you know what I mean, dude. Like, uh, Punch well, uh, Drunk Love. Yeah, but but I mean uh, Spanglish. Yeah. What uh, about what about the new the movie I, that just I, came out? What's the movie that just came out? What's wrong with me? I don't know. The dad, the, the, the jeweler, where he's the just oh, show. uncut gems, uncut gems, yeah, fire, fire. So movie. for yeah. every grown up, there's a great Kevin Garnett. Funny people was good, but that was I think that was more of a Judd production than anything. But it was still else. great. Yeah. yeah, but I'm saying like and he was a great actor. He's a great. I'm, look like, at these my bangers. Point is he's a really good actor. Also, Zohan underrated, underrated and Zohan. fun. 
Funny people no, click Jack than, and Jill. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore are, are like the two. Well, they're the two knockouts. Waterboy was great. Yeah, Waterboy was great. Fantastic. Wedding Singer was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Fifty First Dates is one of my favorite all times. Uh, <laughs> Fifty First Dates. Damn, what, say that again. Like 50, say it again. Fifty First Date is one Wait. of your favorite of all time. Yeah. Respect, like Doc. Respect. Man. Big Daddy. I'm trying to tell Big you. Daddy, phenomenal. Yeah. I love Bulletproof. Yeah, okay. I did. I loved it. You like Bulletproof? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the guy made so many bangers, and I hope you do sleep with this because I think this is an yeah. awesome gift. I played basketball with him one time over and, at uh, at uh, yeah. Sony. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's I got, played up on that court. Yeah, and I liked it. I he's good. He, he's competitive. I remember thinking like we started playing and like really quickly into it. It was two on two, and he, he put his shoulder right into my chest, and I thought I like this man. Yeah, he hoops. <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna go soft on you. Yeah. Especially another young Jewish man he's in the business. He's got a whole bureau in his office with basketball shorts. Like he pulls out a drawer and it's like just. Yeah, because he wants to hoop at all times. Yeah, it's cool. So do y'all have like a, a bloods and crips of like the Jews where like certain mm. Jews don't like each other? You know, one one type don't like the other type. <laughs> Jews, the, the thing about Jews is that they're really do. Don't do that, Tino. They, <laughs> Let me have one more. Do y'all have bloods and crips <laughs> with Jews? <laughs> I mean, insane. You are there man. gang subsets of Jews? <laughs> not even there gang, but are. just like, Those are you know, gangs. Tribes, Bloods and Crips are- well, you know, tribal type of- no, I would not say tribal, those are gangs. Philosophically, one of the good strengths of the Jewish community is that they really do like band together and elevate each okay. other. Okay. That's fucking duck. The, uh, <laughs> are there Bloods and The ones and that don't like the electricity, Jews? are they- Amish people? Yeah. That has nothing to do with <laughs> Jews. Not Orthodox <laughs> Jews, maybe, and I think they, they're okay with. Orthodox oh, you're talking about you're talking about like on Shabbos and stuff like that. Yeah. They're 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 right. not like uh you know enemies with the uh, ones who are less religious. Okay, they don't. That's just like saying you have to have a family member. You have to have an auntie that's like crazy religious. Right. She doesn't care that you're not crazy religious. You just you just it is what it is. Yeah. That's the same shit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Has, has, Hasidic Jews are just. Much more religious than him. They they practice. Okay. Yeah. He's non practicing. Okay, okay. We talk about practice? Mm. We had practice? Can't do it. Can't do right it. Now. Talk about put, practice? But put me in the game. Put me in the game. Not in the game. Yeah. Not in the game. Yeah. I was watching that live when it happened. That's probably one of the greatest moments in interview history. Uh, yeah. That or, and for people, you you know what we're talking about, don't you? Uh huh. <laughs> Where, 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 where? What we talk it? about you talk about practice? Oh, oh I, Alan Iverson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. AI, AI had a great moment about. For fans, if I hope you've you've seen the clip, but fuck me, it's just. He, by the way, you know you know what was what was so unfortunate about AI's career mm. in this regard. This was kind of a microcosm of what was going on. They painted him in this light all the time, right? Even from the high school fight tapes, they wanted to picture him as this, this thug. Criminal. Is what they said yeah. in the news. They yeah. said it all the time: thug, thug, thug. But all he was doing was being organically himself. And they took it as if it was this Disrespect. thug mentality, but it wasn't. Yeah. That was the problem. Yeah. None he of that was never true. Even went to jail. No, he didn't. He, he didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. it was preposterous. That was the craziest part about this. And so then this. This is another way that the media portrayed him in this bad light, where they yeah. were like, "Oh, and he's and he's too good to show up for." Pre That's not even remotely true. Yeah, the whole thing was a weird lie. The media perpetrated. Yeah, it, it just shows why. Why, if anybody besides Trump, I've said this before, anybody besides Trump coined the phrase fake news, it would have weight in our community. Yeah. Because the news is full of shit. Yeah. They do these kind of things. But Trump said it to aid his opinions. Yeah. And it fucked up the truth. Because the truth yeah. is, yeah, news is fake. Fake news is real. This was fake news. He yeah. didn't skip practices. He wasn't this delinquent. He was a great team member. All They loved him. Yeah, but this made him out to be this. They wanted to paint a nemesis. Iverson, I, I wonder oh. if I'd he's got to be a hero of yours. Oh my god, I was gonna say, I wonder if I'd even be a rapper if it wasn't for Allen Iverson. Like growing up in Philadelphia at the prime of his career, like I was thirteen getting bar mitzvahed when they were going to the NBA finals, Insane. like oh, oh, shit. putting out albums in, in between seasons. How fun was that? shit? So fun. It was kind of looking back on it's reckless. Remember when Latrell Shrewell <laughs> put out spinners? Remember when spinner like yeah. Latrell made made, yeah. made rims a cool thing. Yeah. It was very reckless to put out albums while you're in the playoffs. Yeah. The, the, I mean, I don't care at all, but I, the, the language he used in some of the songs is insane for like a, like an NBA player. But I guess good for him. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I was mad when he got traded to the Pistons. I was like, fuck, why y'all pick him up? I'm like, yeah. this guy is not well, fit the Pistons. Let me he see some of the lyrics. What song do you, do you remember any of the song from his album? I know his name was Jules. J-E-W-L. Yeah. And I read the one, I like, he rapped in a really interesting way, like a, like a staccato -y. He was he was what he was he was Jordan to you for me. Because growing up in Chicago, Sheer. it was wild to have jo Jordan was like I, I didn't appreciate it until I got older. I didn't know any better. How could I have known? 
All right, go ahead, Doc. Why don't you wrap this for us? Because we know that you can do it. <laughs> wow. Well, I say that with I say I say that I'm with so that much I it. say that with so much sarcasm because there's a real rapper in the room, but I need Doc to do this in front of Dave because I want to okay, see how he uh, feels about it. For the year two G rap. Let me give you a beat. Change. Okay. okay. Let's go. <laughs> for the year two G rap changed the game, changed the new name. Uh, Jules ain't man. I can't do this shit. Yeah, you can't. No, you definitely. Can't. I ain't fucking got it. No, you nah, don't. You yeah, ain't got it. One hundred percent. For the year two G, the rap game changed for one name. Jules aimed to slain anything on this plane. Remains are found when the best kept secret got heated. You went platinum with a Ghost Rider. So in the game, you cheated. Wow. He, who was he talking about? I don't know. Somebody. That's interesting. Who is he? Who is he shooting at? I love when when uh, Kobe and Shaq. We're rat like and, and and when Shaq won and he was like Kobe how's my ass taste so you gotta they, I just love Shaq <laughs> Shaq rap too, you know who's a really good rapper uh, is um he's on the Hornets uh what the fuck is his name he's one of their best currently not yeah. Jay Moore no he's uh, first off Damian Lillard's a great rapper um, is he yeah, yeah Damian Lillard yeah he's a that's great what they rapper. were saying wow yeah. Dame Dalla but um, who do you think would be the worst rapper in the NBA. Who would be the most trash? You just instinctually. Like Ennis Cantor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know who I want? I want to hear Dennis Schroeder rap just because he's got oh, that yeah. accent. Dennis Schroeder. Smooth with it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. I want to yeah. hear his little German, yeah. his German yeah. twang. Kobe, Kobe made a rap, I think. Mm, it it was yeah. rest in peace. We won't yeah, say anything about it. Yeah. It was. Mm, what about yeah. Shaq? What do you feel about Shaq? Sharp was uh, Shaq. Shaq was so garbage. It was unbelievable. <laughs> It was terrible. Biological Shaq had a song dad with was something else. I thought that was. Did he? Yeah. Shaq and Biggie had a song. Look that up. Yeah. Sha the problem with Shaq is he sounds like he's on pills. That's because he, he's always so big and slow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shaq and Notorious Big can't Shout stop the. Oh, I remember this. Can't stop the rain. I remember this song. I do remember that song. Can't stop the rain. That, this is an obvious. Shaq's had an incredible career. This is a bump. He's still killing it. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's probably my favorite commentator in yeah. sports oh, dude, history. Those dudes are the greatest. I, I love that oh, show. Oh, my God. Him, when him and Charles go at it, it it's literally- the show. Hilarious. The show should just get rid of Ernie, no offense, but just I make love, them you two. You need Ernie. Sure. No, I as, love a, Kenny. Kenny. as a balance. I love Kenny. Yeah. Just give me a show with those two guys going Kenny at is key. I love Kenny. Yeah. They're great. They're great. Just I love give me those Charles two. goes, Kenny- I like I love. Oh come on, Kenny man! Yeah. You you don't know what you're talking. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Like me, right? He kind of sounds like you. Yeah. My 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 Charles Barkley is Doc. Yeah. Oh come on, Kenny. Yeah. Kenny. Yeah. He does have that little Southern twang. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Kenny. Have you? There's one guy who does the best Charles. But you can't. Uh, oh, I know. I know who you're talking about. The best I've seen Barkley that guy. Impression. Yeah. It's crazy. It is really, really. It's yeah. almost perfect. Yeah. Shaq is too hard because it's too deep and guttural. Well. Shaq is like, Go ahead, do it. Uh, Shaq is like, can you please? Uh, the thing that I'm seeing out there, no, I can't. <laughs> no, but I'm with so Shaq, bad at well, you got to talk on the side of your mouth too. Shaq got to be a little bit on the side of your mouth. Yeah, with what? With the problem, and the problem, because 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 here's LeBron. LeBron can't do it. LeBron can't do it. He's barbecue chicken. <laughs> barbecue chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, open up another gift, Papa. Let's do it. Ooh, this feels cloth like. These are great gifts. By the way, these uh, let's give a shout out to Pete. Say thank Pete. Thank shout you, out to Pete, Pete for some some of the Pete. most dope gifts. Here, what do we got? Up. Putting that work in, getting really those gifts. Oh, it's a shower curtain. Oh. Which you must use at your new home. We must have here, let dad open it for Wait you. A minute. No. Let Papa, you don't want Papa to open it? Wait a minute, shower. Yourself. I have a really good shower curtain right now. It's breasts. It's just boobs? Yeah, it's like a cartoon boobs. It's cool. Those are the rings, and let's see what the curtain is. Let me stand up and show you. Here, let me have it so I can you can see it. I got a funny story with the curtain in Judaism. I'll tell it after. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> Goldblum. <laughs> Goldblum and oh, that's cool as fuck. It's Goldblum and an ape. Yeah. Oh, that's cool as fuck. That's a great shower. Oh, that yeah. is a great shower. Oh, my God. What a great <laughs> reveal, a great fam. Curtain. Okay. It's a really good gift. That's yeah, good man. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you something? On this yeah. show, we do give gifts. I, we've never gotten gifts this good. Yeah, yeah, man. So they're obviously showing a little bit of favoritism. At my bar mitzvah, speaking of curtains. So first, so my bar mitzvah, I'd gotten sick the week before, and I was like emaciated. Like I had lost like 20 pounds. Right Flu? Fuck. I don't know. I just Flu game? I, uh, but all I know is I'm doing this, you know, I'm on stage, and uh, you know, you do the reading or whatever, and like my whole family, all my friends are in the audience, and I had this one kind of like really like quirky Aunt Sandy. And, Everybody has a quirky yeah, Aunt Sandy. I've got two of them. And the rabbi was like, you know, very hypothetically, he was like, so where is God? And my Aunt Sandy in the middle of the service stands up and she goes, he's behind the curtain. 
<laughs> in the middle of the thing. I never. It was like shocking. Like How funny if God was like, "I'm right here." Yeah. <laughs> I guess you thought there was like a Wizard of Oz setup going on. He is behind the curtain. Yeah, I mean, well, metaphorically, he is behind. Where the is Aunt Sandy now? Dead. Yeah. Okay, yeah. She's behind the curtain yeah. now. Oh, well, you hit the. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, I have to hit a left, right, and I shouldn't That's do that in front of a Jew. I know it's kind of weird. <laughs> is this weird to do this in front of you? No, I like it. Like, I think of baseball. you feel a little I think, tingling? I think, of, I think of baseball. Do you feel a little tingling right now? No. Is, it, is this burn? <laughs> if I keep doing this, are you going to get sting a little bit? I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm on a grass field. You okay. know what's so funny? This means I don't even. This means nothing to me because I'm not religious. Yeah. When I see people do that on the plane, every time I take off on a plane, flying every single week to do shows, Every time. Really, you see it. Uh, every time, without fail, I see someone yeah, go. People, yeah. And you know what's so funny about Catholics or Christians or whoever that does it? They do, like, <laughs> in church or whatever, you'll see people really do it, you know? But when it's on a plane, they want to, it's weird to show publicly how you feel about something, but they want to get through it quickly. Yeah. So you'll see someone in the seat kind of, and they hide it. They'll go. Yeah. I did it too when uh, we had somebody on here doing. Some oh, voodoo, he blessed himself. Magic. We had yeah, we, we had, had Shin Lim, one of the greatest magicians of all time. Oh wow! Voodoo come magic. here live, yeah. and do card tricks. And Doc really, he just yeah. had to pray to his God. Well, he well, sat we down. Gotta <laughs> get, we got to get rid of them spirits. That's yeah. all. Just bring in them spirits. Because you know how That's black all. people feel about magic. That's yeah. why we call them little black magic. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, black people get weirded out by magicians. Yeah. Hey, man, they just yeah, don't yeah, like the way that. Because what do you think it is? You think it's voodoo? You know, well, at first. Now that I know what it is, but at first, yeah, you're like, man, this dude is messing with the spirits. He's See, it's messing with the spirits. Right. And See, and we don't have any connection with Realms that. and shit like that. I just you see know? David Blaine doing card tricks. and You don't like David Blaine at all. No, remember I said that I thought Blaine, David Blaine was black, and then y'all corrected. We yeah, you did think he, he is. Did. Isn't he half black? He's no? not. We all See? thought that. He's not. I know. That's what I'm saying. Huh. That's what I'm talking about. What is about. he? Puerto Rican and Italian descent is what it says okay. there. Okay. Uh, that's why he looks. That's why he looks. You think brown. it'll say that I'm Jewish in my, in my early life? I highly doubt it won't. Huh? Search Wikipedia. No, dude, you were already there. Just stay on the page and search Wikipedia. Is I bully him through the yeah. internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's read. David, zoom in. David Andrew Bird, known as uh, Little Dicky's American, American rapper, rapper, comedian, actor. He came to prominence, released the music video. But no, go down to early life. Yeah. All right, here we go. Born in Chetlaham Township, North Quarter uh, of Philadelphia. Grew up in upper middle class Jewish family yeah, right. in Elkins Park neighborhood. Yeah. Upper middle class. Yeah. Whew. Make Money. no mistake about it. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Chetlaham. What a what a wild Chet Chet Cheltenham. 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 I'm saying it wrong. Cheltenham. What does that even mean, Cheltenham? Do you know what it's a reference what the to? Fuck? How do you answer that question Should about know. any city? What does that mean? Maybe there was Dan Cheltenham that founded it. You see what happens on the show? You, you get gifts and you learn. Yeah. Hell yeah. And yeah. Little Black Magic says weird stuff like, are there Crips Dang. and Bloods and Jews? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> with really sincerity. Hey, to relate, he means everything yeah. he says. Yeah. It's kind of strange. I connect like with it. you, dog. You know what I, mean? I, I love you. Hell yeah, I love you too. I'd like to be a part of your you life. You feel that shit, dog? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, you don't want this guy in your life. That's I do. Why? No, it's insane. Yeah, he does. He fucking loves me. He, he wouldn't throw that out there if he didn't feel you it. You don't really know. There's He's got, there's there's some shit. Yeah. Yeah, we go all the way back to Egypt, right? Yeah. No, you don't go back to Egypt at all. I'm there with you. Back Fuck there, the pharaohs. Let's get it. Do you? Get it. Do you... <laughs> yeah. Get it. Let me say this: even in Egypt, you guys were born in different parts. Don't matter. We still very in the far same away. Place. Both Egyptian. Coexistent. Yeah, that's what it's all far about. Away. Coexistent. You know what I'm saying? You know what? What's that? And I'm on the island, and I'm from the island. Yeah. The island? Ireland. Oh. <laughs> it's an island. Uh. And I'm on the island. <laughs> yeah. And that's where we're from. And I'll stay on my island. You Egyptians can co-mingle. Okay. I'll stay on my cold, wet, sad, okay. pale island. Don't you guys like get it. sun, and you ruin your buildings with sun. I'll stay pale with potatoes. Yeah. Well, well, we love I you went to anymore. Ireland once. Very desaturated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely country, yeah. but I get why. I get why booze. I get why people drink. Yeah, it's a tough place. To, it's Seattle. It was gray. The difference of Seattle, and the C Seattle and Ireland, same kind of weather. But they commit suicides heavy in Seattle because it's sad. We just drink and laugh it away. Yeah. Two kinds of culture. It's yeah. culture. You thing. guys play the long game suicide. Yeah. We die at the very end yeah. of bo booze. Booze yeah. lets us kill us. Yeah. Yeah. We let booze do the work for us. All right. Open your open your almost last gift. There Second to last. Oh, <gasps> what is it? Joan Rivers. Oh, adult. Joan Rivers adult right coloring there, book. Is. Another famous Fuck. Jewish hero. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to yeah, Joan Rivers. Cool. She beautiful. was the best. Beautiful art. Oh, red carpet. Do me a favor. Fantastic Promise comedian. me you will color one of those. Uh, if you yeah. haven't caught her on Louis, I don't have any, catch her. Uh, what are you saying over there? I don't have any. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sometimes he just <laughs> mumbles shit, <laughs> and it, 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 he, he doesn't say anything. What are you saying? The episode of Louis she was on that day. I, I, me and oh. Louis C.K. had a personal moment. I talked to him about it. I told him that was my favorite episode with him and Joan Rivers. So. What did Louis say to you? He said it was his favorite too. Huh. Yeah. So you said, hey, so let's do the conversation. I'm Louis. <laughs> you Louis. I'm you Louis. Like red hair? Yeah, thank Get you. Get it. Yeah, thank okay, you. Okay, now. So, right, like, so I'm uh, jerking off. So you jerk. <laughs> 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 I was fucking Let me get this good plant. time in there. You know? <laughs> All right, so go ahead. Let me goddamn lose my yarmulke. That's pretty goddamn good there. Fuck, bro. All right, so look, I'm Louis. You Louis? I'm like, hey, what, so we're he, at the comedy store, obviously. Yeah, I'm comedy store here. He was leaving, and I said, He's like, hey, hey man. you got to get my car. I said, uh, hey, Lou. I said, I've been watching your your show, and I said, called him tell Lou. You something. Yeah, that's, yeah, Lou. That's sweet. Because you know he was like, dude, he was, only you know, black he was, guys <laughs> are allowed to give hey, nicknames to people, yeah. and they have to accept yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah he yeah, calls yeah. me Tino. Yeah, Tino. Yeah. 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 And I love yeah. it. Yeah, I love it. Well, dog. People said it as a kid. I'm your dog. Yeah, my dog, my fam. Oh, I thought you meant I'm your dog, like a dog. I thought you don't have a dog. No. Like dog, dog, homie. my homie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. When I was a kid, Tino sometimes, mostly Santino. But go ahead. So Lou, yeah, I was like, man, what's up, Lou? Lou? Lou, I was like, man, yo, I love your show, <laughs> no one's man. Ever and I said, I'm a, never. <laughs> I, said, I just wanted to, t- <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that episode with Joan Rivers. That I said, man, that was my favorite episode. He said, oh, he said that's my favorite episode too. That's because what she said in there was just beautiful, man. It was like fucking don't remember but I'm gonna tell you what, bro. That was fucking. It was good. It was good. You no, know? yeah. This- Did he say anything else to you? He said, uh, he gave me a tip and then he left. Great tipper. What'd he tip you? A hundred? hundred and actually 200. Huh. 200 bucks to park See, in the lot. See, now I'm not a lot probably. No. You're like, he ain't never tipped me. Don't worry about it. Me and Lou, we got a special relationship. So don't get he, mad. Imagine he'll never, ever remember this. <laughs> you know what's funny? I want to ask You know how I got day. passed at the improv? Because mm. I followed Lou. Wait, what? So Ian Edwards had his show there. Louis C.K. dropped in, right? Right. And then Louis bumped me. And I was in the back panicking, and then Ian was like, no, 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 don't worry. You'll be able to follow him. And I said, man, because he was killing it. And I said, fuck. Louis C.K. was killing it? <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. killing it. <laughs> 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 he was, <laughs> Dan, I was in like, the back. He, he was surprised. like, man, what a man, great excuse. Yeah. He was just ripping this motherfucker. Yeah. 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 I was sweating like I was in juvenile court, right? Yeah. So then the motherfucker <laughs> was like, so Ian said that, then I just went up, did my thing. And yeah. then after that, that's when Jamie, because remember Jamie Flynn? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. He got the Dynasty typewriter. Yeah. He came to me, he said, for now on, you're going to be in here and we're going to book you. We, we're we not going to be able to give you a lot of spots, but know that we we, we think you're funny like that. And that's then great. Rita was and that's saying the same thing. Because you followed up him well. Yep, because I went behind wow. him well. Yeah, that's cool. how I got past that damn pro. I love going to those places with you. I know you. It's we like, have. Fun. I love when you come. It's my heaven on earth when I'm there. Oh right yeah, that's just a great the, club. I get all the VIP behind the scenes. Treatment. You do. You get treated like, like a king. It's great, and everybody wants to come say hi to you because uh, hey, you're as much a part of the comedy world uh, as you are the rap world. So for us, it's. I think for comedy fans, yeah, there's an overlap. I mean, it's one of. The, it's kind of becomes one of. Well, with you, it's one and the same. I love watching you up there. You like me doing You're my great. little thing? You're so great. Oh, yeah. Come on, sweetie. You can make yeah, me he's great. This, this motherfucker did a great job. We went down to San Diego, Balboa <laughs> Theater, 1,400 seats. What was it? Yeah, 1,400. 1,400 seats. And uh, I said, it's Doc. <laughs> 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 He's nervous. We were in the green room. He was nervous. Yeah. You were nervous. Yeah, I mean, I'm not shitting on you. Always nervous every show. And and I like fuck. it. I wasn't. I was given. I could. T- I could feel he was a little nervous. I said, just do your thing. Do 10, 12 minutes. Just do your thing. He gets out there. This motherfucker, I mean, it's like somebody inflated the confidence. He could tell, he's like, what's up, Sandy? Yeah. I mean, he just blew up yeah. and he did 20 something, 20 fucking minutes. Yeah. I said, I first came out, I go, I forgot Doc was black. I told him to do 10 minutes. I knew he was going to fuck up. <laughs> 10 minutes is 30 yeah, minutes. He's like, oh, well, I, don't, I don't know what the, the clock is. The clock was right, in, you know, on stage. It's right they at your feet. They had it on a fucking speaker. A wall, regular wall analog clock on the speaker. I was looking in the back for it a It was weird to have an analog clock. clock yeah, down. yeah, I'm used to a digital. I was looking for the light and I just kept going. Fancy okay, maybe he is, just, he wants I'm digital. having a good yeah. time. He goes, Tino, I can't perform with no analog clock. <laughs> <laughs> you know who the fuck I am. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> when are, are, fun, are you dog. going to do any comedy in LA soon? Not to make plans in the middle of the podcast, but no, no, no. But but honestly, uh, I want to come. The next well, time yeah, we will. It. I'll get you before I go, yeah. and then uh, and then I'm doing like New Year's Eve in Phoenix, and then I have a couple of runs, and I end in Vegas. You should come to Vegas in when? March. 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 Yeah. All right. Because I'm doing like three months at the beginning of the year, and then I think. We'll probably film in the summer, mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gapping out the beginning of the year. Yeah. And then doing that until till we go again, kiddo, yeah. oh. until we do our thing. Mm-hmm. All right, let me see your last gift right here. Zip. I'm excited. 
You know, it's at the bottom of the pile. Ooh, is there, it's, the is there, it's the heaviest. Is there a name for the... No. The, 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 it's not. There's no like, uh, this is the Abbey Singer or whatever. <laughs> but we should call it. Let's the, name it something now. What's it called? The What's it, the what's the last shot? When martini. Exactly. Mar martini. <laughs> martini, yeah. Uh, okay, last gift on Hanukkah. It's got to sound, Yid it's got to sound Yiddish. So it's got to be called... Acht, is, Acht would be... Uh, oh, German. Well, no. Acht is, uh, is uh, Latin. <laughs> Say it German. It's German. Acht. Acht. <laughs> Yeah, like like, ah, like, like, like crystal night. Have you heard of crystal night? Yeah, crystal night. night yeah. The, no, it's yeah. the night of the broken glass. Yeah, <laughs> crystal crystal night. Where like in Germany they tra they, they looted all the Jewish stores. Right. Oh, what a night! How fun would that have been? Huh? <laughs> yeah, if you're on the right side of history. <laughs> <laughs> so right. wait a minute. Let's name it before you open it. Don't do that. Eight, Let's name it. Eight, eight is eight. eight um, Achula. Achula. Yeah, like. Ocha. But that sounds Spanish. But it's yeah. Achula. It's got to sound. It's got to sound Yiddish. At. at at here is the grand at the the grand, uh, the grand at yeah. ah the grand at <laughs> yeah yeah that's perfect ooh a little a little frame I don't know what the picture is yet ooh uh oh I haven't seen it yet I haven't seen oh, it oh shit <gasps> classic dude that that is awesome oh Pete that shit. is fucking awesome <laughs> oh shit. do you know who that is no you oh. don't know who that is are you fucking the stooge. Oh yeah! No, you don't no. know who that is. Mm -mm. Oh no! The, the telethons. The... This it seems like it's old. Kids <laughs> looks old. He had kids. The kids. Yeah, he, he had he had a group of of handicap or or disadvantaged kids. He had a huge charity Show for them. Oh, come. Roy Rogers. No. Oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Give me this for the fans can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have no idea Fuck, who that is. Man. Wow, you don't know who this is. No. Fuck. Oh, bro. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a hint. What's a good hint? What's a good hint so we don't give it away? Uh, I got a feeling you're gonna tell me his name, and I'm still not gonna know who it is. Yeah, you're gonna know. This would be, no be impossible for you not yeah, to know. Yeah. So you think no he question? Little I've black heard, magic knows. You think no question? Yeah, yeah. I've heard of this guy's name. W with Dean Martin, undoubtedly. Dean Martin, I've heard of. He was what? one of his best friends. Come on, guy. Bombs away. <laughs> From a chandelier throwing bullets. He did comedy at and music God, together. They man. did shows for. Ever TV? Hmm. Uh, uh, what's a good? What's a good? Uh, Dancing. Well, hint without giving it away, fans. The original Nutty Professor. Yeah, well, the original oh, Nutty Professor. That's probably fuck. one of the best. You love Nutty Professor Eddie's version, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. This he is the original. Eddie did a great job. Should we give him the initials? Do you want to hear? <laughs> yeah. Start with the initials. J. Yeah. Last initial. L. J. L. John Lennon. Ja ja Jackie. Oh, J. L. Man. It's not John Lovitz. Uh, let me give you the first, the figure out the first, the, to figure out the first name would be uh, lead singer of the Grateful Dead. Jerry. Jerry, J.L., Jerry Lewis? <laughs> Jerry Lewis? <laughs> yes. Okay. Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. I, I have name you do know who that is. I have is. name recognition with Jerry Lewis. That's how I was able to guess Jerry Lewis, but I have no clue what he. What you his... know, or you don't know his legacy. Okay. No, pull up a little. I mean, are we allowed? Yeah, yeah, we can. One no, we can pull up some stuff about Jerry Lewis. Funniest dudes out there in the streets. Don't I don't we? like much before. More physical. He was more of like a physical actor. Okay. So he was. Uh, the Jim well, Carrey do... of his time. Yes, yeah. I would say, yes, he was yeah, the Jim Carrey of. of... He was good. Like Tom Brady. Spitting that knowledge. So he was so physically wacky and goofy. He was look look at that the, the picture at the Guardian. Yeah, exactly that that right. Uh, he was so wacky yeah. and, but also so so f smart and funny. Mm. It was shockingly good. I mean, he was. I'll watch some clips today. I'll go home and I'll. Oh, honor he him. was a man, caricature man. Funny, he was unbelievable. Man. And there's probably a I'm lot of young fans of the name that don't know who that, that is. he was in when he was throwing the bulbs. Do you remember that? What? what when he, he was, was doing what? on top of the chandelier and he was throwing the bulbs and hitting everybody. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> One of the funniest. Uh, uh, why can't I think of that? It's called. God uh, damn it. I don't know, man. He was just so good at transforming into these these wild characters. At yeah. the end of his life, he kind of became the uh, an angry curmudgeon. It was uh, kind of that happens to every Jew. I know, but this got his got pretty bad. His yeah. was kind of like, uh, look, I understand that when when comics get to the end of their life, they kind of turn. That's why they say like uh, Chevy Chase is kind of a little moody and yeah. curmudgeonly, and it's like I think at the very. I wonder if Larry David is going to go the other way. To get nicer and nicer. Yeah, get sweeter and sweeter yeah. and sweeter because it, you know you're coming to the been, end. Yeah, because he's always been. How a do you grump. think you're gonna you're gonna do? I'm a grump now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'll probably get sweeter because I'll get more perspective. I've yeah. gotten more loving and open hearted as time has gone on yeah. with stuff. 
just because you get older and you start to smell the r- roses. You, you start to smell. Well, yeah. You, well, you also smell that. Like you smell the roses. Yeah. I smell the roses. Yeah. I start to smell what's coming. Is what I mean. I yeah. know that it's like the end isn't super far away. You're getting older. I've got a lot of life to live. Yeah, you're like a young. But man. you know what I mean is like you start to realize that like things don't matter as much. Yeah, there's not enough time to complain about. It's like who gives a fuck about a lot of the stuff you can't control. Yeah, my roof leaked this morning. So what? Well, that could be a thing huge, deal. Fix, though. huge yeah. deal. Huge deal. <laughs> yeah, huge deal. <laughs> it was a nightmare. Yeah, but it's like after complaining and bitching and like doing what I could, I was like living it up. What? Yeah, no. the movie Living It Up. <laughs> it says it right there. Yeah. Living it up. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If nothing else, his timing is impeccable. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was just telling you. Oh, yeah, no, he wants me to live it up. Yeah. 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 It he is. lives it up. He lives that he lives a fucking happy life. Man. He is you feel content in life, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. If I was if I left right now, I'm good. Wow. You know what I mean? that's isn't wonderful. that isn't that insane? That's beautiful. Yeah. His disposition is is how old do you think Doc is? Uh I'm gonna guess like thirty eight. How old are you, Doc? Forty eight. Oh wow. Just turned forty eight. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There should be a new phrase. The black don't crack thing is not a good phrase. It's got to be like, it's got to be something better than that. It's not don't crack because you do have some age lines without yeah, a doubt. Yeah, yeah you're cracking. But you're not that gray. <laughs> no, yeah. he's kept all of his hair really nice. You, and it's, you, yeah, it's, you don't dye it either, do you? No. Yeah. It's like it looks like it's about to turn gray, but it just like doesn't seem to turn gray. Doesn't or doesn't feel yeah, like trying it. to hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like, got any gray? Do redheads go gray? We just, we just kind of go bald. You just like go, it falls out. It goes a little bit lighter and then just yeah. gets out of there. I have, I, there's one gray strand down here. I'm starting to get gray in my yeah, Are you afraid starts. to go gray? Uh, it just, it's a, it's, it's a sad sign, I guess. But like, I think cosmetically it might make me look better. If you go gray? Just like salt and pepper, I think is a good look on a man. Salt and pepper does look good. But, but salt and pepper and curls? I've never seen salt and peppy curls. Oof. All right, well, let's, let's say happy Hanukkah. Guys, what a dream. Uh, uh, um, if you, here's what I'm trying to say. This, I'm not about, these guys, it doesn't apply to them. They don't have to get behind this. But if you're a young Jewish kid and all the kids in your neighborhood have Christmas trees and you feel alone uh, this end of the year, just know that we're with you. Mm-hmm. We're rooting for Hanukkah. Yep. If you are able to break into a friend's house, steal their tree and light it on fire, I'm pro that. I'm you know big on Jews that. On, you know what the Jews do on Christmas? <laughs> what? You go to the movies. Yeah, go to the movies. Every year, I, I would go to the movies, buy one ticket to a movie, stay behind the ticketing thing, walk into a second movie, see that movie for free. Hard. And then I would go get Chinese food. Every oh, and go get Chinese yeah. food. That's your tradition. Yeah. Huh? I think some kids should do that at home. If you do that, guys, send it in to us. Let us know that you <laughs> yeah. guys are going to get Chinese food. Yeah. And, uh... and see two movies, but pay for one. <laughs> or see three. <laughs> yeah, you could. See, I've, seen, I've seen three. I have seen three. You have. I have seen three. I've done two. We've done that where I snuck in and went to the other. I've never done three. It's great. It's a great. All the good, the best movies. I come don't know out. how it's people can Christmas. Do it. Yeah. Long. Yeah. What do you think your limit would be? Four. Three. Three. I think is enough. Three's a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's like six, seven hours. Yeah. God damn. It depends on what movies you're watching. I love. I, to me, I could sit like if, if a movie is good, the longer the better. Mm-hmm. Like a, a, a three-hour great movie is better than an hour and a half great movie for me. What's what's the what, what, yeah. what's the binge of hours have you ever watched movies back to back or at home oh, like I've, Netflix? I, I've spent. There was one week where we got uh, shut down for COVID. Yeah, on the show, and I just spent a week like watching European films, and I, I would watch. I would watch like five movies a day. Wow! Yeah. Can you name some yeah. of the films? Because I know Fancy knows almost all of them. Um, my favorite one was The Prophet. You know the Prophet fans? Yeah, awesome movie. Yeah, yeah, awesome movie. This guy yeah. is a movie I database. Love, yeah, I watched a lot of. Uh, I watched like um, French, Thomas Vinterberg's movies, like Another Round, and. Do you know Thomas Vinterberg? Oh, that's a yeah. good movie, Another Round. These yeah. are these are the yeah. film dorks. Yeah. They know all that stuff. Uh, the Dardenne Brothers. The Dardine. <laughs> Naturalistic movies. You really like that stuff. I love that shit. Now, what do you, you have to buy it? Right, you can't. No. You can't... Oh yeah. Netflix, right? No. Oh, it depends. It depends. You know, you got all these apps, like half the times it's like offered on Hulu or offered, and then it's like, you know, it's, but worst case scenario, you run it on Apple or okay. on iTunes. All right. Well, look, <laughs> I love you. I appreciate you, I so, much. you so much. I'm Brother so happy that you're, ha- that you're healthy and happy. Th- honestly, I feel like myself for the first time in a while today. Do you really? Yeah. Isn't this awesome? It is awesome. Ah, fuck. That makes me feel good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy Hanukkah to all my, our Jewish brothers and sisters out there, to all our Christian brothers and sisters. Go fuck yourself. Easy. Uh... <laughs> No, it's he a, said it. it's he a said joke. It. Okay. Yeah, I don't Just relax, Doc. <laughs> Jesus. I shouldn't say Jesus. And don't forget, Jesus was a Jew. Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not Real a Jew talk. for Jesus. 
No. It was a great episode <laughs> yeah, of Curb, yeah, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the Jews for Jesus. Yeah. What do you feel about the Jews for Jesus? Uh, to each his or own. No, you don't feel that way. You really have, a, have an opinion. I, I Honestly, anyone who believes anything really passionately, I'm kind of like, how could you? Like, yeah, bro, that deeply? Yeah, like how could all this stuff is so like I'm not saying that one thing's not true or another, but anyone that could like really passionately totally believe that something is a truth, it's like but there's no proof of anything. So how it just feels You crazy. believe in yeah. I just I believe in ignorance that no one knows anything. I like that. Yeah, I don't know anything. That's all I'm passionate about that no one has any idea what's going on and anyone that really claims to know exactly what's going on, it kind of is a little off-putting. Sketches but me I, out. But I understand why one would believe something sure. for their own Sure. Believe whatever you want to believe. Yeah, I get that. I'm yeah. not saying don't believe, but I don't like being pushed beliefs. Yeah, no, me neither. Yeah. And like we're about to right now. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for being a bad friend. And I want, actually, why don't you take us out and say, uh, Happy Hanukkah, thanks for being a bad friend into the into your camera. Go ahead. Everybody, Happy Hanukkah. Thank you for being a bad friend. We'll see you next year. Eight nights. <laughs> <laughs>